<laughs> Park reservation for the small world challenge. You guys are crazy. Not bad. Only a couple minutes behind schedule. Sorry about that. But I did park at Hollywood and went to the post office this morning and dropped my kids off at school. Yeah, I had quite a morning already. So good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. It's Friday. Shelly's getting off work early today. So this is an all-day stream, but not only is it an all-day stream, we're changing it up. Today we're going to stream Magic Kingdom for quite a while, and then we're going to jump on the bus, go to Coronado Springs. I had to walk through the other day, jumping buses, and I kind of thought it was really cool to go there, so we're going to go there, and then we'll be there for about an hour, maybe two. And then we're going to get back on the bus, and we're going to go over to Magic Kingdom, or Hollywood Studios, and we're going to go watch Fantasmic tonight. Maybe ride a ride or two if we have time. Of course, if you guys enjoyed today's stream, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's just know you enjoyed it. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Love the support. Free to do. Oh man, the air conditioning is so nice in here. I want to thank all my Patreon members and channel members for all their continued support. I want to thank my moderators for all that they do and my wife for giving us all day at the parks. <laughs> so, whew. It is already pretty warm outside, so we are going to be cautious how much sun while we're walking around that giant resort of a place that it is. We're inside the grass stop. Just for a moment, because it's nice in here. This is where Charlie, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Whoa. This is the one Kevin made the other day. I can't even, you can't even tell, like, in person it looks amazing. Good morning, Craig. John, no summer break. Theme park for now. Already given the gift of membership already this morning. Chris S. With the gift and membership already. <laughs> I know already. Man, that thing is so cool. I love it. Uh, Captain Crunch, good morning. Let's see, uh, Teresa, welcome. Sounds like a fun. We got an interesting day. We're gonna change it to Alley. Good morning, JT, Jimmy Tiger, JJ, Mickey's in the house. Who else we got? We got Jason from South Africa, the Gaming Ham B5, babe. Hello, welcome, Julia C. I don't like this one. More looks like an apple. Ooh, I hear the Dan's on the way. <laughs> Good morning, little G and Thomas. Sarah, welcome. I'll go this one. There you go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Like I said, JV, welcome. Sam, I am great to have you. Dan, we got Grayson on the piano in just nine minutes. It just feels all nice in here. <gasps> Sven. Ooh. 
Who else did I miss? I, I gotta miss. Josh is here. Let's see. No, I'm missing. Theo Sam Eagle, what's going on? Sean, good to see you as well. Again, thank you, Theme Park Fanatic, with the, the gifted membership already first thing this morning. Tracy Me, good morning. Tiger Webb, hello. I did Theme Park Fanatic. I didn't get a chance to talk to my wife, so I will um, get back to you soon. But I did read your email, yes. Are you doing this ornaments today? Or you What's stuff? that? You got ornaments today, or what do you think? Honestly, I haven't even. I literally just turned it on and looked at the list. I know it's a ton of ornaments because we've done like you know production basically. In yeah, okay. A couple of weeks. I, I love don't have any like big customs or anything. Like okay. That. Tomorrow, me and Kevin are both in your big I'm stuff. gonna be on pirates for gotcha. 13 hours. So wild man. Yeah. So. No, that one came out really nice, though, the one that's on the counter right now. I love that, the shine. Yeah. Ooh, buddy. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, getting that down, man. <laughs> All right, I'll see you around. Take care, brother. All right. Uh, Wuha, welcome. Tasha Mills, good morning. What's our plan for Magic Kingdom? Well, we're starting a little later than I was hoping, but, again, things happen. Um, my daughter was in a rage mode this morning. She's like, I'm not going to school. And I'm like, okay. And so I waited 10 minutes, and then she's like, so I want to go to school. So we were a little behind, but it's okay. We got the dance coming around again in just a minute, and then right after that, we got Grayson on the piano. We'll actually see the Dapper Dance, do the parade, ride some rides, maybe we'll check out Pirates. I heard there's some kind of thing going on tomorrow where I ride that for 13 hours. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. And then we'll do some more stuff. Catch the 3.30, uh, 3 o'clock parade, get out of here. Get on the bus, go to Coronado, sometime around there. 3.30, 4 o'clock, somewhere in there. Then uh, we're going to go do a little resort walk around. Uh, Coronado is really cool. I thought this was cool shots. And then after that, head our way over to Hollywood Studios for maybe a couple rides, hopefully. And then Fantasmic tonight. It is a full day, everybody. Oh yeah, we can't. We definitely got to make sure we make a stop by the office. So today's, or not today, tomorrow with the Pirates of the Caribbean, a lot of people have questions. We cannot stay on the right. We have to get off every time. There is no uh, safe way for me to continually ride it over and over again due to the fact that uh, when the boats go through the little cave where they, you know, they come out where you board, it's too uh, low and would be considered uh, very unsafe. So. We do have to get off every time, which is okay. Get back on. There is a record. At least that's what we found online. It is 28 times. I'm so excited you're going to Destino Towers. My fiance and I gotta go every time we come to Disney. I only walked through there once, and from what I walked through was pretty amazing, so I'm definitely excited to walk around. I was kind of in a hurry trying to get out of there so I can make it. JB the gaming ham station. There we go. Woo! Hot. Yes. Alright, we got Grayson on the piano in a minute. <clears throat> Today I'm wearing the We Will See You When We Get to Where We Don't Know. 
because we have a plan. Not really. I mean, we have a plan. Like we know what places we're going. Uh, do we know what we're doing when when we're those places? I don't know. But we'll see you there when we get there. The amount of bus stops there are at, at Coronado, and like you can walk from the very first bus stop to the front entrance and still catch the bus that you got off of. I, I did it the other day. Unfortunately, I went to the wrong bus stop. So I went to the shuttle bus to the airport and I missed it. But yeah, it's a pretty big place. Um, it's hot. It's not hot, but it's it's sunlight hot right now. <clears throat> it is supposed to get very warm today. I was warm as a I guess understatement. Um, 83 feels like 88. UV is high. 64% humidity. Um, nine mile an hour winds. Pretty light winds today. Um, Six o'clock to eight o'clock is possible rain with thunderstorms at nine and ten. Could interview with our phantasmic evening, but boy, we're gonna give it a shot either way. We're already here. Oh, I, <laughs> I was thinking about that too, Pirate uh, Captain Crunch, because uh, lately it feels like more and more water keeps dumping in the boat every time we go down the ramp. Because like, it'll be sitting there. You go down and all of a sudden you can feel the water go behind you. And uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, a wet ride. Or the, when the cannons explode and how many times the water will... I will never forget the pirate smell of the, the water at Pirates after the tomorrow. All right, Grayson should be here in just about two minutes. <laughs> I thought we were tipping the boat over on Small World. I thought that was the plan, Cap Crunch. Me, you, JJ, tipping the boat, Small World. Okay. He's trying to sneak up behind. I know, <laughs> but I like the camera's in reverse mode. I can see you. I know. Ugh. Mondays. How are you? I'm. Uh, it's a little warm, but I'm all right. Yes. But I just came from Hollywood, so. I got fantastic tonight. Which 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 park is hotter, here or Hollywood Studios? Well, the parking lot is hotter. Good point. Because it's it's like they have that black top layer over where like Magic Kingdom parking yeah, lot yeah. all concrete. So yeah, you, I'm telling you, in, uh, in Disneyland, uh, California Adventure, Cars Land is like I don't know how they get it so hot. It, oh yeah, no. Just, we got ice cream one day, and it just as soon as we got it, it just. I don't get ice cream on hot days. <laughs> Well, so any day in Florida was lying in it. <laughs> number nine, skirt. Oh, hey, sorry. <laughs> I just heard the skirt, and I was like, I don't know where skirt.
They were at the character warehouse for like seven ninety nine. For what? For seven ninety nine, they were at the character warehouse. Do you got
Dude. Can we get some Fantasmic? Fantasmic, oh my gosh. If not. The first thing in the morning? No, you're not. <laughs> For sure, the 30th. Okay. Thank you. Wait. You are amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Is that a Saturday? I don't know where it goes. That's amazing. I don't know where. It's somewhere. No. Nothing my wife. My wife's gonna have. Yeah, I won't be there. Oh well. My wife's work schedule is kind of. No worries. 
Yeah. yeah. There'll be there'll be plenty more opportunities, I'm sure. Um, sorry. No, it's fine. I will. I'll go put myself in the room of shame. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hey, don't forget about me, too! Free to do! I saw that in the day, I go out here again. Take a break and drink some water. Is it that time? No, no, I just meant. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> Never mind. You're right. Go take a break. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I wonder where that's at then. Usually it's, it cuts me off. It's uh, 30 seconds, I think. Any second now. <laughs> See you again. Thanks for playing. Oh, of course. Seeing that tonight. Great so. job as always. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, I always yell when I see him playing. I go like this. Great job. And I appreciate. <laughs> what are you Everybody, doing today? Um, there's nothing. My last couple of days before I become a cast member again. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Uh, I'll throw food and beverage. Oh, nice. You I know did, where at? Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. That's all that counts for me. Oh, nice. I was. I did some stuff there. Forty-fifteen. Uh -huh. And we had to move back to where I was. So now we finally moved back. I bought a house this time. Sold my yards, and I said I want to come back to Disney. Is that thirty seconds? I went to, I went to <laughs> Julie C. just became a member as well. Thank you, Julie C. Uh, Nicholas and Cassie, all becoming channel members. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you, everybody. Like, the insane amount of new channel members those last couple days has just been crazy. I cannot thank you all enough for a, a wild... Oh, no. Did we lose you? What happened here? All right, well, this isn't working, but this is working. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Julie C., Nicholas, and Cassie. Thank you guys so much. Why is this not working? Oh. <laughs> miles from Main Street. <laughs> Grace and I will see you one more time today. Believe it or not, I'm gonna be here all day. No way! It's true. It's your first day? First day, first day of many first days. Yes. <laughs> Joe is almost on his actual first day. I know, my goodness. I always love hearing about like yeah, the first... how the process works to get into it. Like uh, I know the difference between the, 
Hold on, everybody. I'm gonna reset this because I can't seem to get mainstream moments. Good morning, uh, Josh. Good morning. Just got Disney. Welcome, Disney Mom 22. Hello. Um, I gotta get my thing back. They're gonna be inside through those doors. There's a there's a station kind of like this one inside. Yeah, when I started, we didn't do like a tour of the park. Usually, when you do that, we're in the whole building. It was just the Florida. Way down on a river. All right. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to take off. Show. Do it, baby. Yeah. All right. See you. We came back here and we just walked out to the camera. What is going on? Is warm. Oh, hello. No, not today. I'm over in the Dune and Burke store. There we go. I'm in the glass store. Let's see if he's got anything going on. What is going on with this thing? Nothing yet. He hasn't started yet. Let's see. Good morning, Jim. Let's see, cake toast. Tucker said he's in the Dunenberg store. I like that. We have a problem. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, nice to see you. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Anything good in here? Uh, we have the, the, the purple the Joey Gloss over here. Uh, oh man, I can't afford that, man. <laughs> well, AP 30% off. So yeah. yeah. My wife really likes it. Oh, that's really awesome. Up, uh, all the. All the doing the work stuff. That's what I do. I'm like, oh, I can, I can feel the price. <laughs> <laughs> the rides love those things. How's your day going? It's going pretty good. We already went on. A, we were already went on all the rides. We were here yesterday. Oh, okay. Went on a Tron twice. Tron we twice, on, nice. On yesterday uh, at uh, at night. That was so much fun. That was great. It was really exciting. I, uh, we were watching. Uh, Okay, so that's gonna be a problem today. Either way, and it's nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm back for now, but we'll see what happens. It's nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you too. Yeah, uh, you guys have an awesome day, and you will. Really, that's super. Not Dooney and Burke. That one doesn't feel like it. Yeah, but it is a Dooney. These are, these, are, these are nice. I mean, yeah. But you guys have a wonderful day. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Hmm. We are having issues with Streamlabs. I told you that the picture was Okay. But. So the Yeah. Interesting. Let me see if there's an update. Pretty much, if um, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, I can't read anything you guys are saying. Which would be a problem. Thank you, Trevor. You good? <laughs> Just two dudes valuing pocketbooks. <laughs> I mean, I still got the Disneyland bags here. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is try to go off Wi-Fi. I don't see it. All right, we're updated now. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. What is? Enter. 
interesting. Wait, oh, this is the problem. Grayson broke it. Angela, welcome. Sorry, I would have Jeremy. He's good morning. So this is gonna be a issue. I can't do this all day. But then I'll have to carry it like this with this hand, and huh? I've already tried restarting multiple times. The only time the chat works is if I'm on Wi-Fi. It's gonna be a problem. Hmm. Let me try it. Let me try to go back to Wi-Fi real quick. We are troubleshooting right now, everybody. Sorry for the quick. Yeah. So connect to Wi-Fi, all the chat returns. Interesting. Most interesting. Yeah, the S'more Baymax thing is really cool. It's super soft, too. <laughs> Give it to an adult. It's not just me, anybody using Streamlabs right now might have the same issues. It could be a temporary issue. Oh no, take toast, you're totally cool. I was just uh, unfortunately running into some, some uh, technical difficulties right now. Okay. Like I said, it's supposed to be pretty, pretty hot today. UV is going to be high to extreme, or very high and extreme possibly today. So we are just going to go through our day the best we can without uh, sweating all day. I'm not sure I like Buzz carrying that burger, but you know. Wow. Interesting. That stuff. Only one side. $36.99. That way Buzz can bring you a burger. I can't prepare today because 
<laughs> I did not yesterday. <laughs> Which is fine because we were ending after, but things got a little wild trying to get around from the parks in the mall. Just set up a Zoom call. <laughs> I like it. It never looks busy when you look right here. You're like, oh, it's gonna be a pretty nice day out. And then it's not. Looks like we're going right here again. Oh, it's 
said none, there is really only one, oh Margie, Margie, it's you. On her Coney Island was where she could play, you could see her on the boardwalk every day. Entertainment for wonderful entertainment for kind of 
say, hey, you say what? Hey, what? What did Gaston win at the end of Beauty and the Beast? What? The Nobel Prize. <laughs> it's a thing.
Jeopardy. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was the Jeopardans. Sorry about the uh, the gimbal issue. It happens, especially when you use them every day. Hope you guys are enjoying today's stream. Don't forget to hit the like buttons and subscribe to the channel. It is free to do. Mm. I see feels nice. We're gonna go to the gift shop. We're gonna go get our parade route spot. And then right after the parade, we're gonna start riding some rides. Huh? And then of course, later today, we're going to Coronado Springs and then finishing our night out at Hollywood Studios with Fantasmic. Imagination! The musical stylings of Grayson. We get it back? Yes, everything's working great again. All right, we don't have to be on Wi-Fi anymore. Nice. Must have been a bug. We watch Phantasmic. Well, double Phantasmic for like every Sunday for months. Like it's a trash. Woo! Oh. Mouse around says just eight days until I land in Orlando. That's awesome. It's actually not that, well, I mean, can't fully confirm yet, but it doesn't feel very busy today. It turns me a little bit Julie C. says, I there for every Phantasmic Sunday. Those are the best days. All about that, that Captain Crunch rating. I zoom in on almost every time. Doesn't take me very long to walk over here, so. And we're here. I think we're gonna pick this spot. Yep. Some good shade right there. All right. 73 more days, uh, Sam I am, until I'm at Walt Disney World. That's awesome. 76 more days for the Polly staycation. Ooh, Kimberly, that's nice. We're currently working on getting enough money to pay for the, the plane tickets to Hawaii because, man, that's, that's, that's a bit spendy. Morning, Kauai. Morning. <laughs> I thought I was Ren. Oh yeah, just because we're doing some ride challenge tomorrow doesn't mean we're not going to pull as many hours as we can the day before. Ow. Mm. 
He's got a long, and he's got 332 days until they're back. No. That is quite a while. But that being said, that means you actually have a date that you're going to be back at the Magic, or, well, Magic Kingdom, but Magic of Disney World. I mean, it sounds like forever, but I didn't think, when I looked at the calendar the other day and realized we've lived here, officially today is the day 10 months ago we arrived in Orlando. It goes by a lot quicker than you expect. Ashley says, I'll be at Disney World on my honeymoon for the first time next August. That's cool. My honeymoon was, um, well, we waited 10 years. <laughs> and then we went on a Disney cruise. And now we're addicted to Disney cruising. Uh, Jesse said Ron got my shirt in the yesterday in the mail and she's so excited for tomorrow. That's awesome Jesse Glad that it arrived and you guys are Loving it also um anybody else who had some orders um, I did get those Sent out today this morning before we started this morning was crazy um, This morning we got what's the words I'm looking for here This morning we Got up. Took a while to get my daughter up. She was not feeling it today. Um, and then finally got her to school. Went to the post office. Mailed things off. Grabbed some food. <laughs> for today. And uh... Oh man. And then uh, came here. But we parked at Hollywood, and then we took the bus over to the Paul, or to the Grand Floridian, jumped on the monorail, came. <laughs> My mornings are always so wild when I get, like, you get to the park. It all depends on how my daughter feels in the morning. My whole day is determined off of what she does. And Sam I am just got there. Oh, that's awesome, Sam I am. We try to get them out as fast as possible. <laughs> um, strictly Disney, we can't talk about what my wife does for work, but she's very busy, works uh, mostly 10 to 12 hour days every day so um, if she worked like eight hour days we'd probably be live a lot more but her job's pretty busy so I oh, thank you Amy my daughter's so hilarious my daughter is three turned three in November My wife and I are going to buy some skirt shirts. <laughs> oh my god, it was hilarious the other day. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Miles, for, uh, from Main Street. The other day, I was on the speedway with Wayne, and we we're driving, and there's number nine right next to us, just rolling along. I'm like, you gotta hit the brakes. They didn't do it, but man. It was funny, the other day she was like, if production ever got to the point where I can't keep up with the shirt orders, I'm quitting my job. I'm like, oh my God, slow down now.
Get a big owl. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Ron being on the go all the time, he sure does talk about hitting the brakes a lot. I bet I carry this umbrella all day and never need it. Like, it's the days I don't carry it, I'm gonna need it. Oh, Joey G said that I have arrived, the stream can now begin. Yeah, we, we kind of started a while ago. You know what time it is? Well, kinda. Please send an umbrella to Omaha. <laughs> Looks like it's Are you talking about Omaha, Nebraska? In just Hold a few on, minutes, Wesley. we will proudly present an enchanting celebration in the streets, our Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade. But first, please welcome our honorary Grand Marshals. Celebrating Cousins Day, Marina, Victoria, and Kim from Lakeland, Florida, and Rhode Island. Um, the West Wing asked yesterday after the stream I watched your Four Mountain Challenge was while I was working. Was that your first foray into Disney stream? No, that wasn't even a Disney stream. That was me just turning on my GoPro and running the GoPro non-stop the entire time. I knew the GoPro had about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes worth of battery life. So I knew I had to get the Four Mountain Challenge done in under an hour. That, that's a hard one because I really don't listen to either Martin Gary's Hardwell or Tiesto much anymore at all. But I'd have to say Tiesto because I grew up on his stuff. Real quick, everybody, if you have a moment. And yeah, y'all yeah, like what you see here. Subscribe to the channel. It is free to do. We're just 27 more friends away from hitting 15,600 already. That is insane. We're already almost at 16,000. Like, we are... I know it's like a little ways away, but 427 more to go. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the bottle. Hold on a second. Okay. 
Oh, it's way over there. Never mind. Huh? I figured I'd find you here for the parade. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Watch all the time. Yeah. Well, thank you. How's it going? Good. Name's Dan. Sorry, I got a mess here. Okay. <laughs> How you doing good. today? Good. It, uh, I'm here for a day for between work items. We've been work from South Carolina and I go to Kansas next, so he stopped here for a day. It's a good stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too bad. Crowd levels don't seem to be horrible, but yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to ask you the other day if you're going to be here or not. Chat. I don't know. Like, you're gonna be here. He's like, I don't know yet. I didn't know. Like, so quick look, and I'm like, I well, know last, where he'll be in a little bit. A little bit. When well, the last starts. night she was like, um, I might have to work uh, a crazy schedule on Friday. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then she was like, Yeah, no, I'm leaving after an eight-hour day, so you're good to do whatever. Nice. So nice. that's why when people are like, What did you schedule? I'm like, oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, once I saw you're here, I'm like, I know where he'll be once you get close to the parade done. Whoa, I don't know the same spot every time. <laughs> Yeah, I think I watched about 12 hours a year, 24. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not an easy one. It was very long. There's a lot of conversation pieces in there. Yeah, I had a friend that um, gave me two nights at the Saratoga Springs for the one down here. So uh, that was nice. It's nice over I've never been there. Yeah. Hey, keep up the good work. Yeah, no problem. It's fun Sorry. watching you all the time. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. So, I truly really enjoy watching you. Thank it's you. It's always something new. I tried to. Today's new. We're going from here to Coronado. I saw that. Yeah. I saw Try, that. Trying to do something different today. We're on here all day. Uh, <laughs> no, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> nice no park you. hopping, right? No. 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 Just want to stay here. I want to stay up there after. I was here for the opening day of Flavor After back in 2017. Oh, okay. So I want to see it again now, personally. The projections are nice, but they're going to be the forward section. Last night, or not last night, but Wednesday night, me and Wayne were looking back and we noticed that the second half of the street, so where the alley is, didn't have any projections on that. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure if they're off or... So, as long as you're mid-street, you're good. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait to see it again in person. I, this is the first I've been down here about six, seven years. No, it's not Christmas. You've been here in December. Yeah. Well, I mean, at Christmas time. That's what I'm usually here. Yeah. So. And the weather is, you know, yeah. bearable. Yeah. <laughs> not too bad, though. It's not too bad. Yeah, yeah I know. I got the Christmas time. I guess in, like, a couple days, uh, the Christmas schedule is supposed to come out. Yeah. So. And we know that Halloween starts in about the six, seven weeks. I know. I was just looking at that. I was like looking at my schedule and I'm like, oh, I already have 60 days, almost 60 days out from Halloween. Yeah, I think it was the first, or the, it was like the ninth or something. The 11th. That's right. Yeah, yep. Friday the 11th. <laughs> I got the 18th. It's going to come quick before you know it. And you're just like, oh, we're already doing Halloween. It's still August. And you know Christmas is coming too. <laughs> yeah, I got to get I'll probably go to more Christmas parties than I will the uh, Halloween parties. Just because I like the Christmas parties. Yeah, that's beautiful Christmas. Well, I like the cookie snatching. That's too. <laughs> that too. It's, it's a better, great better cookie candy. Heist. I like the candy, but the cookies are just... And if you want, you can get drinks with it too. Yep. Yeah, the hot chocolate is pretty good too. Yeah, that was what it was. Cider, hot chocolate, eggnog. Yep. There it is. Yeah, I could not remember good. for the life of me the other day. Um, yeah, I figured it was a good stop in between work. Yeah. I'm going to hold me over to December. <laughs> oh, was that? Christmas in July? But we're just going to do it in June. Yeah, I'll yeah, do, there I'll do it in June. <laughs> Christmas in June. <laughs> it's a good, way, a good halfway point for me to like, get back down here in December. What just happened? Oh, my What? Well, I got fast fast catch, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, see you later. later dude. Sorry. I'm, nice see to you later. later. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Well, everybody, the parade's about to start in about a minute. If you got a moment. Ooh, we got another one. We are now 25 more friends away from hitting 600 today. Can we hit 600 today on the channel? Thank you so much, everybody. We will find out. Till then, we got a parade starting any second now. Somebody turned on the sun today. I'm starting to feel it. All right, Roy, you got them honeydews to do. <laughs> uh, Strictly Disney, we use a Samsung S23 Ultra. Just a basic Samsung cell phone. Thank you, just got. And then, let's see, I'm 
And then we got JJ Russo. It's so nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. And if you do want to find out what we're using, like equipment wise, phones, microphones, uh, cameras, all that, all in the description below. Good afternoon, Tomorrowland Traveler. Firefighter, good to see you too. Disney's Festival of Fantasy Parade. That breeze feels amazing. On that note, forgot the microphone muffs again. I'm not good at remembering my new gear. <laughs> Good evening, or afternoon, Cheeto. And uh, yeah, we're on a 12 today. As long as nothing comes up. Subject to always availability. Captain Crunch with a gifted membership down to JJ Russo. Thank you so much, Captain Crunch, for the gifted membership going to them. Greatly appreciate it. Congratulations, JJ Russo or Jonathan. Whew. Somebody turn down the sun. What is Snow White's? So loud. Sean's dragon, that is hilarious. What does Snow White say when her photos weren't ready for it yet? <laughs> Someday my prince will come. <laughs> I love that. Good afternoon, Falling Star. Joey G with the skirt! Debbie's <laughs> cooling fans. Oh, I can't take it anymore. All right, everybody, the parade's about to start. Well, the announcement is about to start right here. So enjoy the parade, and uh, after this, we'll go ride some rides.
to the Magic Kingdom. You are warmly invited to join Mickey Mouse and his Fantasyland friends for a magical celebration in the streets. Dreams will come true, hearts will soar, and you will become a part of the magic. For the time has come to take your faces and prepare to welcome the wondrous and wonderful Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade! <laughs>
Enjoyed the parade. Don't forget to hit that. Hi, how you doing? Nice to see ya. If you guys enjoyed the parade, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. Time to go ride some rides. I'm feeling like we should do a preview. What are y'all thinking? Preview today? Then we have that shade. <laughs> Small world, baby.
Ah, oh, you guys in the small world, miss. Nice little after parade test run. See what we might encounter tomorrow. I wonder if we'll notice anything new in a matter of 13 hours of doing it. Looks pretty empty back here. Looks very empty back here. Oh my gosh. Hello? Could be. We're trying out the Wi-Fi right now. I'm wondering if we can just Wi-Fi the entire time and not have to disconnect and reconnect every time. Nice to see a walk-on though. So far, so good, looks like. Everything looking good on your guys' end? Research. Awesome. So far, so good. So what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna walk off the ramp into the gift shop and around to the entrance again. We're gonna see how well the signal holds throughout the whole area. It'd be cool if we didn't have to switch between um, cell and Y every time, cell and Wi-Fi every time. Research. Yes, if they could make Small World with the Pixar characters and stuff, kind of like they do at uh, Tokyo Disney, I'd be super excited about that. George the Ghost. Like, we're gonna have time to look around, like, look at that chandelier. I'm also gonna go through the ride and check to see whether, if uh, everything's working correctly. If not, adjust as needed. We're still doing it tomorrow no matter what. Oh no, they're never going to get rid of a small world. Man, John Dragon got it down to 13 minutes and 31 seconds from the beginning of the exit of the floor. That was a walk on. Pink for Life says, thanks for all the ministry. No problem, glad you enjoy them. Well, you have to get off the boat, and you guys will see why in a minute, why I say you have to get off the boat. Disney Parks with Love, is, is Janelle here? I know, I can't... Did I go to Magic Kingdom on Monday? I don't remember what I did Monday. Thank you, thank you. So if you guys look back here, I know it's a little hard to see, 
but that is not tall enough for somebody to sit in there and go through. See how close the boat is? So you cannot actually ride the ride and uh, go through the tunnel. Or as we, it's not a tunnel, but I mean, literally row six barely clears it. So we'll have to get off and get back on every time, which is fine. I don't. Not every challenge is gonna be easy. <laughs> Looks like you. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> oh, you. No, you guys can't all fit on the same boat. Oh, next boat. Sorry. Yes, you're good. All right, everybody, enjoy Pirates, and I'll talk to you after. And the record is currently 28. Put 
you clucking? The gentlemen want the rum. Don't you, boy? Here I be, holding the treasure map and the key as well. What I would give to see the look on Captain Jack Starr's face when he hears them tell only me what's got the good side. Keeps him when he's studying the map.
Find out how well this works all the way around the ride. So far, so good. Not yeah, dropping off. And it's coming back. Okay. We roll. So far, so good. Let me know if it cuts out at any point. I can't see what's going on, so. And. And we're back. Alright. This is where I connected when I started. That's it? Okay, we're good. We can roll Wi-Fi the whole day tomorrow. Noise. That's good info. That's good stuff. Because we'll actually have more lag or in and out. Excuse me. Uh, more in and outs if I try to switch between cell back to Wi-Fi. So sweet. Yeah, I froze because I, I put it back on uh, regular cell signal. Yeah, it's going to uh, add them up. We'll have the... Uh, words are hard. There we go. I want a Small World Challenge t-shirt. Alright. Uh, we can do a Small World Challenge t-shirt, but it has to be in the size of... Um, extra small. Thank you, Sean. That's good to know. Well, we did get that hold up there, so. But, I mean, it's about people moving around a time. I say that, I like that, but. No, yeah, at all. I had I've no interest at it. Like I said, I, I might even do it at 100,000, but it's possibility, it's not even guaranteed.
crowds seem pretty nice today. Look at this. Craziness. Uh, yeah. I mean, compared to the last couple days, it's actually really quiet here. The last couple of weekdays have been very, very busy, and now we're on Friday going into the weekend, and it's, it's light crowds again. Now, the park does close at 10 on Saturdays and Sundays. On During the weekend and weekdays, Monday through Friday, the park's open until 11. So I know a lot of people determine their, I mean, I, I know it's just an hour, but a lot of people want that extra hour. That's a possibility, Josh. Yeah, if that ever, if we are on the Pirates Day Challenge tomorrow and we get evac, uh, you guys are gonna need to put on the hold screen because they, that is one of those things where we will be going backstage, lights on, all that good stuff. Then we'll have a conversation about it later. Good afternoon, Drew's Magical Legacy. No, we can, we can stream on the coaster. Well, it depends. If you are trying to ride Space Mountain, Tron, they, uh, they make sure you wear a chest mount or put it in your pocket. I do enjoy some pineapple on pizza, that's right. The W runner says it looks absolutely beautiful up there today. Uh, it's it's nice, but man, somebody turned on the sun for sure.
Two reasons why we're hot right now. Number one, it's hot out. Number two, I'm carrying everything today. The umbrella, two batteries, all the cables, extra phones, all the stuff. So, it's a heavy one. Sir Brian? Did you? I've been practicing my two one liners. Okay. I went to my hairdresser the other day. Yeah. I said, give me a run on the go. <laughs> Charge me double. Oh, I'm sorry. How you doing? Been very good. Where are you working right now? I'm doing Rocket Tower right now. I've okay. Three hours and I'm done for the day. Nice. Have All right. fun, sir. Alright, you too. That was awesome. He got the run on the go haircut. I don't know if you got actual run on the go hair guy. I usually just take a number two and go through the whole hair, you know. I see why you're standing here. Oh my gosh. I just walked from uh, Pirates to here and I'm like. Yeah, it's rough. I'm about to go over there and I really don't want no, to. No, you, you don't have to do that. Just let people put strollers where they want. I mean, there is someone else over there, but in the time that I go over here, there's already one in the wrong spot, so. Oh, regulator. You know, That's if, you. Yeah, exactly. If you want it done right, you gotta do it. <laughs> All right. Later. Afternoon, Ed. Great to have you here. Wayne, I see you. Whew. Been having with Ron withdrawals with his busy work weeks. Oh no. <laughs> Charlie's like, are you excited about tomorrow? I'm like, no. I mean, yes, but no. Just use the Clippers, no attachment, Jason Statham. <laughs> Paul Freed says hello Ron from PA, uh, Pennsylvania, and 71 outside, no smoke, and to, to smell today, that's a good day. Just letting up a storm right now. My off days, um, you know how everybody's like, only in days that end in Y? My off days are the only the days that end in Y. Yeah. Jessica B just finished a round of golf. How's everyone doing? Um, I hope you had a good time with golf and I thought you were doing pretty good today.
We made it. It's eighteen dollars before Tim. I can't. Time for the mover of people. That's awesome, Joey. I think I'm just so. <laughs> That's funny. I'm so handsome they forget to charge me. My, uh, maybe just Ron, my last ride last night had lights on in the Space Mountain. Like, as in, like, you were on Space Mountain with the lights on, or you, uh, you were on the People Mover with the lights on in Space Mountain? Whoa! Sorry. I can see that. My wife gives her last attention. Ah, oh, got it. Free hugs. When's the Astro? Not summertime. There's a lot of rides we can't do in the summer. It would, it would hurt. Like we obviously we're not doing uh, Tower of Terror during the summer. As nice as the Mister system and everything is, um, that would be very, very hot and humid. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We probably could get away with in the summer. Most of it's covered, but not all of it. Let's see, Space, Spaceship Earth, that's mostly covered. But, uh, glad he's uh, said, I'm new here. Well, welcome. Uh, thanks for being here. And thanks for subscribing. I just see that I got a notification there. Thank you so much. I'm um, thinking like, Right, I, I think about multiple factors when it comes to the rides. Like, where where am I gonna be? Am I gonna be stuck in the sun? Uh, what if weather happens? Uh, lightning gonna shut us down? These are a lot of things I gotta think about. Yeah, but Star Tours gives a lot of um, streamers issues. Um, as in like, some cast members say you can't stream on there, some say you can. I try to avoid right now anything that would cause an issue. I don't want to be an issue. You get what I'm saying? Technically, you can do, you can live stream or slash vlog. Uh, 
Star Tours as long as it doesn't, uh, your gimbal doesn't extend, which mine can't even if I wanted it to. All right, theme park fanatic. The, the problem with certain rides on challenges is certain songs repeat too many times, the stream will be taken down for excessive copyright claims. Three Caballeros being one of those that has a, the song is not only copyrighted, but if you do it more than like once or over so many times, uh, eventually it will pull the stream down because you're obviously reusing, um, yeah. So there's like things you gotta do to make sure that you don't um, violate too many of the rules. So I got I got all the the plans coming for the coming months on all the different uh, rides and everything. So don't worry, everybody. I got a plan for every month. Including that Speedway Day. All day Speedway. I'm gonna call it the Skirtathon. <laughs> it's gonna be horrible. Yeah, Joey G, we had uh, somebody here go on Star Tours last night. Also get told they weren't allowed to stream our tours but then talk to the manager and they were like yeah it's fine you just can't extend it during the ride the ramps work you just got to get a cast member to flip the switch on the ramp Okay. Yeah. 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 How you been? <laughs> Used to go to racetracks all the time where smoke, tire smoke, all those things always affected us. Stay clear of the doors, which will open and close automatically. Enjoy your journey. <laughs> the engine smoker grunts giggling. <laughs> Welcome to the office. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome to the office, everybody. This is the TTA Blue Line. Hello, Kim. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Moon, presented by Enterprise. I'm RF5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster labs, there's really nothing like today in tomorrow. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity balloons, please do not keep flight while on board. Thank you. The next station is Tomorrowland Earth Way. 
arbitrator. Transfer to green and red line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. I found two of my favorite spots. That's a people mover crowd. <laughs> Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City is Spider Capcom? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Nice. Look, there's even a tiny people on the road. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except the extra stars. Those are the most of them. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. Amazing in here. Always feel so good. Hello, speechless in Disney. I saw Grasshopper's wife here as well. Celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony. 
fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. Carousel of Progress. As usual, and so does the carousel. Like progress itself, this theater never stops, inspiring new generations to dream of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Uh -huh. Okay. Woo, this makes sense to spend like this. On the back of my car now, I have this. this is the it's not up on the website yet, but I did make this. And my wife's like, why did you make that? And I'm like, because my office moves people, and this is where I do conduct my business. And she's like, uh-huh, okay. But yeah, those will be up later tonight. Hopefully. I made a whole bunch of them last night. Step on it. hot out but our breeze right here feels amazing that's what happened we might have to do like a mini marathon on the people mover this quick six hours nothing crazy No, we'll do like six hours of people mover through like the middle of the day and then we'll just come and then we'll go ride other rides the rest of the day. Separate stream.
Woo. It is warm out. It's supposed to be what, 90s? Feels like 100 this week. The sea. Got the monster laughs. There's really nothing like today and tomorrow. Just evaluating like the crowd levels around the park right now. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Travel says so pouring rain here, but it cooled it down to eighty six. Lots to see. From spacecraft to monster laps. There's nothing I die today in tomorrow life. I like how I like how every day at Magic Kingdom is always average clouds. Even on days when it's not average crowds. That's why I don't believe in that little system like I have that tells you like, today's a five here and a seven there. I've had to say an eight at Animal Kingdom and walked on every ride. Okay, we see you. It's only 82 in Vegas? That's nice. At the Magic Kingdom. I love how this area is air conditioned. Yeah, I'm thinking that everything that's in place now is a deterrent to send you somewhere else, right? So 75 minute wait for a rise the other day turned into a 30 minute wait. A 25 minute wait for, I can't remember what the ride was, turned into an hour. So I just chased those high numbers now. Thank you, Nikki. Nikki sent me five dollars to get a monster today. I will definitely be doing that. I have one in my. Oh, no, I don't have one in my bag. Or do I? Well, it's probably not cold anymore. So, thank you, Nikki. Greatly appreciate it. All 
sorry. You can tell everybody's hot walking. <laughs> I call it hot walking when everybody's kind of staggering and stumbling around. We are going to get some water right now. That is what we are going to do. Let's get water. There's a water. Yeah, just one. Thank you so much. Gotta give me that hot dog water. Mm. When Grayson comes out, I should leave a cup of water on top of there and be like, it's for you. Hold on a second. Is it time for Grayson? I thought it was Grayson's like 135. Because somebody's got to search for a tape. Just a second, everybody. Woo! Sorry. Time to get over here. There we go. Yeah, 135. So. What they're talking about here is check out the sticker. Or this one. I love pizza. We all love pineapple on pizza, right? And hot dog water. Ron, would you do in and out? So we do have an international, um, we, we did. But it was super spendy. It was like $35 to ship it from here to the UK. So we have to we have to do more research and find a new way to do that because that's really high. Let's go see if Charlie's busy. Even with pirate ship, Captain Crunch, it was still, it was still up there. Yeah, um, if you need, uh, if you want something and you want it internationally shipped, the best thing to do is not use the website. Uh, contact us through Instagram or Face, Instagram or email. <sighs> Feels great in here. started. Yeah, he just started two minutes ago. Hey everyone, just a quick question. Came from the up in my Still plenty more. 
wrap it around when it makes contact with itself. Same thing, it'll weld. Where'd you get your welding degree at? What's that? Where'd you get your welding degree at? Same place I got my glass blowing degree. <laughs> Walmart? I don't have one. <laughs> Break enough anything, you figure it out eventually. <laughs> I'm really good at putting puzzles together. I tell all day long, when it works right, it's 30 years of practice, when they break, I'm out of it. You get them all, they expect you to get them all. It's a really bad precedent to set. Unless you're like a heart surgeon or something, go for it. Otherwise, none of us are really that important. You know? <laughs> Funny is not the right word, but I do, you know, it's kind of amusing. Sometimes even a big bass, it doesn't matter. I can be, I stand up and, you know, just catch it on that stop too fast. And it falls and shatters. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, it's a bowl, relax. Like, it's just a bowl. I know a guy. Yeah, but then you would get me that glass blower if you're an ice sculptor. Hey man, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll always put a jacket on. That's <laughs> true. Instead, I'm going to go out and put it in a sweater. Everybody's always like, I like hot weather. I'm like, I don't. There's no way to cool down. No. It's cold out. It's putting another jacket on. Or coat. Doing them so fast, you scared everybody away. Yeah. All right, time it. <laughs> so 
I don't know, I watched it like a hundred times now or something. Check this one out. <laughs> What's one of these run here? What's that? What's this run? Uh, about 50. Okay, 150? I really like that. I know, it's, it's looking good. So everybody, if you guys are interested, this is 150 right now. Let's make an ornament like that. Oh, I got some in the back. Oh, yeah, okay. It's almost got a mirror to it. What's that? It's almost like a mirror. Yeah, very much so. That's a, I mean, it actually is very close. Uh, a mirror is a piece of glass with a silver nitrate wash on the back that's silver oxide on the surface. Okay, so yeah, okay, gotcha. Pretty close. Like I say all the time, if you can't make it symmetrical, just make it shiny. Yeah. The Duke of Disney Properties of the Peak. <laughs> Jeez. I can't help it, Ragger Randy. That one's hilarious. The spectating specialist, the sultan of phone swapping, the Duke of Disney Properties, the people mover pirate himself. <laughs> can't spell Ron, Tron without Ron. <laughs> I can't even that one. Oh my gosh, that was great, Ragger Randy. I just tell everybody in here what's going on. Small doses, right, Ron? Small doses. Uh, three, three minutes from the last one. Now we're timing or anything, but not bad. Or almost, almost. He's not done yet. Hold on, almost done. Almost done. And 40 seconds. What's that? Four minutes and 40 seconds. I'll slow it down for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta hurry up so you take a break. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like brand, that, that bowl Brandon bought, that one took like almost an hour. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. And you can tell it's uh, exponentially different. You know? Yeah. These I put my sleep. Those are hard to do when I'm awake, you know. <laughs> That's not true. So everybody's going to go in the, um, the annealer. And uh, it's going to sit in there overnight. Uh, it's going to make pieces throughout the whole day. At night when they wrap it up, they're going to close the doors. And then it's going to bring down that temperature throughout the night. And when in the morning, they'll bring them out. They'll do a quick inspection on them. Let them cool the rest of the way. And then if they look all good, they'll, they'll uh, get you your item or so that you can buy the items.
fire. Into the fire. Yep, we can. We got cups on display now, nice. So the Indian. Like, they're in and out of that thing all day when they're making pizzas. Um, everything in there stays at a high temperature until the evening. That's when they start bringing it down. Uh, I'm going to look in just a second, right after you finish this one. Any chance that you're at Hollywood Studios next Wednesday? I do not know. I don't have any scheduled plans at the moment. I just know it's going to be in the morning, like live streams in the morning, but I don't know where I'll be. I haven't decided. I love that. Oh my gosh, what is that? $250 for this piece? Man. That is cool. We got the green cup here for $50. It's got the sparkle in it. Better if I put it in the light like that. We got the blue cup for 50. I thought there were 60, but whatever. Another 50. Oh, there's one. This one holds a. Oh my gosh. Talk about a drink cup. That thing is massive. I mean, you can fit a lot of liquid or slash ice in this bad boy. Ooh, CME fashionable, I like that idea. Yeah, the Chris uh, S. They recycle all the glass they don't use. So, like anything, like at the end of the pipes or uh, if something breaks, everything goes out of here, goes to a recycling place. They do what they got to do to recycle it, and they order more.
Now when uh, Kevin and Charlie are both working at the same time, they will uh, do a lot of large pieces. Like, what time is the uh, the the parade? Uh, not the parade, but the marching today. Well, yeah, we get. Oh my gosh! Is that somebody standing on? Oh man! No respect for the piano. Yeah, what? I don't know. Oh, there you Another Disney World proposal. Another Disney World proposal. When are you proposing to me?
Again. You already know what they want. And see they're like uh, fantastic again. <laughs> it's always haunted. It's always haunted mansion. You know it's always. Haunted.
Almost there. We're almost there. I know. I'm, I'm sad I won't be there the day of. I think it's a, it's a, it's a Monday. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. Yeah. yeah. I'll have Jeremy do it. I'll, I'll play it beforehand. I'll have Jeremy do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
said it was great. Yeah. <laughs> that was great seeing everybody doing an awesome job out there. If you guys are enjoying today's stream, help us out here. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. And we are just 21 more subscribers away from hitting uh, 15,600. So if you got a moment and you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel. It is free to do. Kevin Yoda, great to see you. What's coming through? Woo! It is not so hot anymore. Is that cloud cover? If we could get cloud cover right now, today would be great. Especially when we get over to Coronado. There ain't much shade on those bridges out there. <laughs> I bet the rope's up already. Yep. One more time. Not the music for me. Gonna celebrate. Wildcat just became a member. What? Thank you, Wildcat. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Yeah, Wildcat. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Wildcat just became a member. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. So, um, it kind of works perfectly. Grayson ends. Dapper Dan start. We have a little while until the, uh, the next parade starts. No problem, Wildcat. And thank you so much again. Um, again, we're going to have parade it and then go maybe one more ride or so I don't know after the parade and then it's a pretty busy day at the park right, let's see where they pop out they're gonna be over there over here About to find out. Ron, the theme park finale has gifted another member. Oh my god. Tracy uh, has become a channel. <laughs> Thank you so much, theme park finale. Oh my god. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Um, uh, U.S. Navy, uh, thank you for subscribing, and Wildcat and Theme Park Fanatic for the uh, channel membership. Huh? Did they move? I don't know, they just haven't come out yet. There they are. I see him off in the distance. Thank you, Rob K. No problem. Glad you guys are enjoying it. It's it's a it's summertime. Crowds are getting a little busier, and it's really hot out. So I'm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they come over here. They always put this rope up and then the Dapper Dans come out and then they tear the rope back down. Every time. It's <laughs> Park Fanatic for real. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're going to continue on now with another song. It's actually a classic entitled Time Flies Like an Arrow, But Fruit Flies Like a Banana. Don't let it bug you. I think it lost its tail. It was bananas. Uh, how about we sing one of my favorite love songs? Right, right. Yeah. Meet me in the roundhouse, baby. They can't wonder us there. <laughs> they need to rank a lot of this yeah. time. And if okay. you are still here, you are not going to miss one of my favorite tunes. A song titled, How Can I Miss You If You Won't Go Away. <laughs> Not the song the voice sings them? I can't see that. I don't think you want to hear that. It's a sad song. It is. I have a sad song. Alright, well, here's one they're going to love. Okay. Oh, oh, goodbye, my Cody Island baby. Farewell, my own true love, true love. I'm going to go away and leave you. Never see you any better. I'm going to see you any I'm going to
Dapper Dan's, everybody. Woo. 
All right, well, we got paraded in 45 minutes. Haunted Mansion's a 45 minute wait. So, we're gonna not, we're gonna do the parade after. I mean, we're gonna do the Haunted Mansion after the parade. So we're gonna go watch the parade from where the Haunted Mansion is located. Excuse me, yeah. sir. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? I'm Mr. Kerry Small. <gasps> oh, hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I came here with my nieces today. Hi. We got Lillian and Heidi and that's her cousin and their grandmother. How y'all doing today? Anyway, I told them, I said, we're coming to Disney World, and if we see Ron on the go, we're gonna have to talk to him and say hi. hi. And we saw you. I, I figured Dapper Dan's are here, and hi. here we go. Doing some stuff. Did you guys yes, want to actually say hi? Sure, sure. Yeah. You want us to be on the, on the video? If you want to. Oh, you, I can go point it in the direction. You're good. That's good. Mr. Kerry Small, everybody. Yes. We're from Texas. Oh, from Texas, okay. Yes, sir. We just got here. It's a big place. What part of Texas? San, uh, San Antonio. San Antonio. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. And, you guys uh, have an awesome time yeah. here? We're perfect perfect timing. We just got here. We saw the Dapper Dance and we saw you. And awesome. so did you guys fly in last night? We did. Okay. We did. Yep. We're staying at Art Animation. Art Animation, yep. alright. Yep, yep, yep. That pool is massive. What do you guys think of the pool? We saw it. Yeah. We're, we're, they're gonna the biggest it out, pool on uh, property. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, awesome. But, yes, sir. But um anyway, yeah. it was it was nice. It was very nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. And, it's uh, always fun to talk to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All yes. right, we'll yeah. see you around. Yep. Bye. You guys have a wonderful time. Good. Mr. Kerry Smalls, everybody. That's awesome. Ooh, wow, I forgot how cold it is inside. That is so cool. Oh, we should have done that. It's <laughs> pretty. Trying to cool down for a second. I got really warm there. Whew. That's awesome. Flew in last night already at the Magic Kingdom. I don't know if I could have waited. <laughs> when I used to, uh, um, ooh, those are new. Uh, these are the new elemental ears. Seems like a lot of pieces I could tear off, or if you got a little kid. But okay. <laughs> Subscribe, he's always free to do. <laughs> okay. Skirt. Oh, skirt. Oh, we did it. We can do it. We can do it. There it is. Oh. <laughs> I... All right. Reason I'm kind of in a hurry. So I do need to use the restroom. Cause I just drank that monster. It was delicious, by the way. So, restroom is right here, everybody. I will be right back.
Justin! No, I'm just saying, Mr. Carey Small, very awesome to meet you today. Mrs. Carey Small has been around in the channel for quite a while. All right, we gotta hurry up. The bands are coming. All right, everybody, I'm gonna switch phones real quick. So just a moment. All right, everyone. Come on. Feather, welcome. Alright, here comes the first band. That was a fast phone swap. Are we good? Are we working? Yep, we're good. Okay. Okay, I'm glad you were able to see your kid. Them clouds are rolling in now though, I'm really excited about that. So, uh, Wildcat, uh, just a moment there was a, an accident there. Uh, you should be able to, in just a couple minutes. Glad you were able to see your kid though. Cheers. 
Cheeky man fan, how you doing? Oops. Did you guys notice the new update in the, the app? Well, besides that, I had to update the app. But, in there, if you zoom on over there, in the app it says Tiana's by you right there. So currently right now, I'm just coming over here to peruse or look at the Haunted Mansion line. Oh, looks like we missed the boat. All right, that's fine. Meet me at the roundhouse. They can't corner us there. Wow. Quite the uh, quite the line for a haunted mansion. Yeah, so we'll wait till after the parade. Yeah, we'll literally get out of haunted mansion right as the parade ends. Mm, yep, we'll do that. Okay, we don't go in here very often. Elizabeth, welcome. When did this one come out? Is this a lounge or what is this? Kiss the bride. I like how all the pictures he's missing his head. like that and it is $49.99 so nice you so you're very welcome haunted mansion a lot remember they said we're gonna get the hat box ghost I think if that was just kind of get people excited well, they could they could bring in a hat box to us when uh, Halloween rolls around. I had to have forty dollars. <laughs> what is that? Haunted Mansion chest sets are currently forty nine ninety nine. Oh, those are really cool chest sets. Do you guys not even sell any Haunted Mansion themed ones? We sell them right over there. Oh, okay, cool. You can also use your, um, if you have an annual pass, you can use the annual pass. Yeah. Pretty good deal. What was it originally? 100? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, originally 100 now, it's 50, plus, of course, you can get that 30% annual discount right now. Shay says, love your stream. Well, thank you, Shay. <laughs> Those pants scream my name. <laughs> you know what? This 
This says it's summer in, in Florida, right? $79.99. Oh, I can't get the bag. Oh, okay, there it goes. No side pocket on the inside? Yeah, I'm good. I got a chess set that I still have from when I was in Afghanistan, and uh, it's all made of marble. And it was like $30. I couldn't believe it. $59.99 for this. Yeah, you're, you're good, Wildcat. Sorry about that. Haunted Mansion chest set. So you got the Madame Leota head, all the different styles of pieces and everything. It's pretty, pretty cool. Because when I went to Afghanistan, everybody was trying to buy those magical blue rocks, which nobody knew what they were. They just knew they were worth a lot. Now everybody knows them as lithium. So there was lithium rock. Um, how are you, Ron? And when you're live streaming, I'm like, Hannah, I'm doing great. <gasps> There's the chest set pieces. Ooh. So check that out, everybody. Check this out. It sings the song. It's very heavy. Oh my gosh. Does it take batteries? Yep, it does take batteries. Let's see if I can sleep you guys. No, I need to put you guys down for a second. I just realized something. Hold on. Oh man. Okay, we're charging. I just want to make sure the 23 was charging. I had that on the charger for an hour the other day and didn't even move. Oh man, even the Madame Leota lamp is $75 now. Wildcats is well, showing the band thing made my day. No problem. I know we get a lot of families in the uh, channel who want to see their kids or um, you know family members who are in the marching bands. And you know they can't. Not everybody can be here, so it's a nice way to connect with them without actually being here. You know, every time I ride a haunted mansion, they're like, "And the ghosts will follow you home," and I'm like, "Nobody's followed me home yet." Oh, we'll, we'll see the pirate shop a whole bunch tomorrow <laughs> as we walk through it over and over and over again and again. Oops, sorry. Woo! Adam up said the passport's in for the Mickey boat. Now that's exciting. Me and, uh, uh, I've been, <laughs> been nice to Shelly, but man, I told her like, like two months ago, hey, renew your annual, your passport, and she's like, all right, and then she paid for the paperwork and everything, and then it's been two months and she still hasn't submitted that in yet. Uh, uh, we take the bus. 
We take a Disney transportation uh, over from here to Coronado. That line for Haunted Mansion just got longer. Oh yeah, there's one thing I love, it's uh, Disney Cruise. Or, or, I don't know about cruises because I've never been on anything but a Disney Cruise, but you know, I tell you now. Disney Cruise. Welcome from Japan, thanks for being here. I'll be there first week of August. Let's go find us a spot. Yeah, I, I, I see it's 45 minute wait, but it's definitely longer than the 45 minute wait right now. The app also told me Rise of Resistance was a 75 minute wait and we got on in 30. Tell you now, wait times have not been accurate lately. Hmm, where do we stand? We could walk it behind the parade. We could do that. Let's do that. Because it is getting very, 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 very hot. We still got a lot of outside walking to do. Uh, just from uh, JJ Chris is asking why I know it might, it's going to be more than 45 minutes. And it's just experience of being here almost every day. Um, and seeing where it's standing now with the length of the lightning lane. Um, usually that's a little longer than 45. I believe the name is Kane. Um, I've, I've seen the name before in the chat before. I'm not sure, 100% sure, but it might be Kane. Yeah, anytime you see that line go outside of the, uh, the, the queue entry point, that's usually gonna indicate Oh yeah, that crane's been up there um, pretty much after the first parade was over. You can see right here, it's officially in the app now.
Whew. Sorry, everybody. Answered a couple questions real quick. Didn't even notice. Spilled beverage off. <laughs> no. Oh, I have a I have a three year old who spills all my drinks on my desk too. She's adorable. Do my feet get sore? Um, mostly if I stand around for long periods of time, and it causes me to get really restless too. So like when I'm standing in line and we don't move for like five plus minutes. Uh, yeah, I, I get very sore, but as long as we keep moving throughout the day, like right now I can switch feet, how I'm standing and everything, we're good, but if I can't move, I'm, I'm hurting. Yeah. Sorry, that was a lot. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Just handling a couple things real quick. So, uh, tomorrow, for those who uh, enjoy a good Pirates of the Caribbean ride, we're gonna get a lot of it. And not just a little bit, we're talking a lot. We're talking 13 hours of back to back to back, nonstop Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe a bathroom break. <laughs> nonstop Pirates all day. It's gonna be wild. Um, thank you for. I'm gonna go with sharing Disney World with this, <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> Shattered Disney World. I like it though. All right, Adam up says I want to uh, buy you will be a virtual queue. Oh no, by, by, Tiana's buy you will be a virtual queue, just like every other ride has been when it opens. Now there's no more of that opening day crazy lines. You know, get the experience, the whole thing. It'll be a day one virtual queue. So back in 2012 when I was here, my wife was really into that show Teen Mom. Uh, and uh, she saw Janelle, I don't know who Janelle, but Janelle um, from Teen Mom in the in Hollywood studios. And she was like, there's, there's Janelle. And I'm like, and? I don't know who Janelle is. And she's like, from Teen Mom. I'm like, oh, do you want to say hi to her? No, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about Teen Mom. It's, I don't know where I was going with that story. It was just story time. Uh, that's Tiana's Bayou. For those who are wondering about the big giant crane back there, they're working on Tiana's Bayou. They're moving and replacing and changing the ride. 
for the future. The future. Here we go. Grand Marshals are on the way. <laughs> when you come to Japan. I've been to Tokyo Disney a, 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 quite a few times. when these clouds roll in because we're about a little over an hour before we're gonna head over to Coronado. Or a little less. Eh, somewhere around four o'clock we're gonna head over to Coronado. Got quite a quite a bit of a bus ride and then after the bus ride If you guys have a moment, subscribe to the channel. This number will go up. And if you unsubscribe, well, obviously we know the number goes down. That's how it works. Let's see if we can get those lines gone. Nope. Let's see what we can do here. We got 19 away from hitting 16, uh, 15,600. Another one, another one. Come on, DJ Cali, work with us here. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Magic Kingdom. In just a few minutes, we will proudly present an enchanting celebration in the streets, our Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade. But first, please welcome our honorary Grand Marshals. Celebrating Alfonso's, Mia's, and Marlene's birthdays, the Rosas family from El Monte, California. How's it going, Daniel? My belt broke and my steering wheel wouldn't turn. Oh man. Going from power steering to non power steering would it, be difficult. Hey, look, the crane's moving again. We got another one! Another one! Sandra coming in from Canada, welcome. Unfortunately, I, I'm trying to avoid uh, continual direct sunlight today. It is, uh, it is definitely uh, in the upper 
I don't really mind the, the wait time as much as like how that sun is really burning. And of course, because I brought the umbrella with me, it's not supposed to rain the rest of the day. They changed it to no rain. 46% humidity right now. UV is very high. Wendell. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where'd Big Al go? Or is they not bringing out Big Al? Thank you, Denzito. Denzanito. Thank you, Hannah. We're on our way. It's okay, I'm sorry. This one makes you stop my door. I think it works. Shelly just let me know she is home. Shelly is home. She's off super early today. That cloud cover coming in, man. What a save day. Everybody, the parade's about to start in two minutes. I want to thank everybody for subscribing. We're now just 16 away from 600. Thank you so much, everybody. Greatly appreciate it. I also want to thank um, you all for being here today. I know it's been a kind of a slow or day, slowish day. That's the second time I've done that. I'm hurt no time. But we're about to. Well, mm -hmm. Making sure Haunted Mansion isn't crazy. We're about to go do Haunted Mansion and then we're gonna go to Coronado Springs and we still got Fantasmic tonight and other things coming ahead.
Window be wide and wild. <laughs> See this guy right here, cast member? He's gonna give that kid a bucket of popcorn. He does that every parade. Well, there's a couple parades we've seen him not do it, but like most of the time. You notice I'm not super zooming or anything, or not super zooming, but I'm not zooming in on it. I'm on the S22, not as impressive. It's kind of grainy.
Anthony Moeller, man, how you doing? Not horrible.
at the end of the parade. We're gonna come zoom around the backside here. enjoy the parade don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel love the support free to do if we beat the parade Hunter Mansion's line looks pretty short at the moment we about to find out all right, James Davidson, we'll see you later. Almost there. The tiny stuff. Ooh, hi. There we go. All right. Uh, everybody will get notified probably tomorrow morning or tonight, like late tonight. I won't be able to get to the information uh, today. This was not supposed to be an all-day stream. It turned into an all-day stream. By the way, I totally forgot to mention, five or six o'clock tonight, everybody, down in the description below, uh, 15,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. Final less than three hours until the giveaway is complete. And yourself a chance to win some free stuff. Winners will be emailed tonight. I'll have time tonight. This is why you come here after the parade. <laughs> that was funny. Like I was like, two times we've seen the parade today. Both times we had to be up front to see Mickey. <laughs> The kid wanted to see Mickey. Um, so yeah, down the description below, you click some links, gleam.io, it's completely free to enter. You don't have to be subscribed or anything, but if you would like to help us out here, subscribing is free to do and it helps us the best way, and it's free. Um, whew, let me turn on the sun. Back to what I was saying. 15 dollars you click the link the link's gonna give you um you're gonna go you're gonna click on a couple of like instagram youtube my website uh you don't have to have to look at anything or like anything you just gotta open it and close it it's just a traffic generator and then after that um uh, uh, then you'll have your three entries you don't even have to have an instagram even though there's an instagram one you don't have to have an entry you just have to hit it and close it and then that's it and then tonight, probably pretty late, because we probably won't even get out of Hollywood Studios until 10. I probably won't get home until 11, so I'll have like a little bit of time to get everybody's information out. And then tomorrow, I'll have a couple of them ready for my wife to send out, but I won't have them all ready because I literally am not ready for it. I literally thought I was going to be home tonight. I think, yeah, my bad. We'll have them out by Monday at the latest, though, for sure. Let's get lost what's going on. Thanks for being here. Great stream today. So, we're right haunted, because, well, you can see how short the line is. 
Um, and then we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go to Coronado. Random, but world record for fastest two mile run, which is set at seven minutes and 54 seconds. I remember when I could run the mile in like just under eight minutes when I was in like middle school. I can imagine like, yeah, we're just gonna knock out a couple miles today. So. All the winner. Oh, by the way, also all the winners will receive an email. It will let you know what you get. Um, I know this one's a little. This one's a little less organized than the previous one. But don't worry. I have plenty of gifts and cool items in it. We got ears. We got a Epcot blanket. We got. Um, we got a. Lounge pretzel lounge fly. The Mickey pretzel lounge fly. We got. Uh, of course, those six Ron on the go prizes to give away. Haunted Mansion years, uh, 50th year, not 50th years, they're just like blue and gold kind of thing. We got a bunch of Festival of the Arts um, uh, paint things so you can paint uh, figures. There's just a lot of stuff that uh, everybody will always see. You can ask our previous winners in the chat, they definitely um, quite enjoy the giveaways. <laughs> the winners need to make a speech. Yeah, yeah, it's funny with JB. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the S22, which actually doesn't have a very good, uh, uh, what do you call it? The camera is not nearly as good as the uh, S23, but we're gonna run the S22 right now until the 23 gets fully charged. Good friend Gordon, now you've crossed the river Orden. Speech! I think you do when I get a speech. I like that. Um, we usually, when we vacationed here, would get the refillable drink mug, but we also um, would go like have pool days and stuff like that, or. We'd be at the resort a lot more than um, than just parking every day. I'd go to the park every day, but the kids would want swimming days. <laughs> Mr. Kerry Small says, "Hey, Ron, just missed you at Haunted Mansion, but it was great seeing you earlier. It was just an awesome meeting. You know, you know it's, it's fun. Like I." Like I said, I've been talking to Mr. Carrie Small uh, through here for quite a while now, and then actually meet you is, is, is really, that's awesome. And it was nice to meet you too and your whole family and everything. Strategic planning after the parade is how you get to go on rides, almost, almost a walk on. All right, we've been online for about a couple minutes. So knowing where to be, like if you want to ride Pirates, you're going to want to be down over by Country Bear Jamboree, and then right after the Mickey passes by, you're going to make your way over there. There's a way to do it. Well, my wife's a, uh, I wouldn't say a, <laughs> a drinker. She just drinks a lot of like liquids always. And, no longer a single file line in this area. Got it. Taste of water. You don't want that delicious hot dog water? Oh, 
or what? what? Yeah, see, the 22 just does not have the focus, like 23. I love pizza. That pineapple loves pizza. Of course, if you guys are enjoying what you see here, we're just 11 more friends away from hitting 15,600. If you could help us out here and subscribe to the channel. It is free to do. There's no subscription fees. We keep it kind of... Uh, Low cost here. That's that's pretty good, Josh. Seven minutes and after getting in line, that's a really good time. <laughs> so B five A, it's it's when we go to uh, Casey's Corner and we get water from. Uh, Casey's Corner, we call it hot dog water because that's where we're getting it from. It's like when we go to Pecos Bills and we get the taco water. dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Surely. <laughs> the real chills come later. Now, as they say, look alive and we'll continue on the trip. And let's all stay together. <laughs> Marble. 
incredible busts of the greatest ghost writers the literary world has ever known. They have all retired here to the haunted mansion. Actually, we have 999 happy haunts here. But there's room for a thousand. Any volunteers? <laughs> Final arrangements may be made at the end of the tour.
bag back on all right well if you guys enjoyed that don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel it's free to do that line for haunted did not get big after the parade as you can see it uh stayed pretty short but a couple minutes what did you say seven minutes to get on there that's a pretty good time Well, it is, wow, it's only 3.40? Man, we did that real quick. Uh, Tara, welcome. There's a bird looking for some food. Come here, birdie. <laughs> she's sweet, sweet. Yeah, she's sweet. Yeah. Why do people terrorize the birds? It's so mean. I'm chasing the birds around trying to kick them. Don't do that. Birds, they're nice birds. When the park opens tomorrow, Carl. at home I'm doing all right it's a little warm my wife just like um so so you're, you're just gonna be outside all day today I'm like yeah you told me to go outside all day today she's like yeah my bad no the pass holders do not get anything um, extra except access to the parks on the days that end without blackout so like Pixie Pass obviously have tons of blackout days, no weekends. Uh, I have an Incredit Pass because when I bought my pass, I lived out of state originally and I just kept renewing um, and now it's the Incredit Pass. So.
<laughs> you told me. <laughs> yeah, she got him going. She did like, you should go live all day to Friday. I was last night, and I was like, why? And she's like, well, I'll be off work early. And I was like, all right. Now she's asking me how I'm still outside. And I'm like, you told me to go outside all day. <laughs> Does your wife send you to Disney World too? My wife sends me to Disney World. She's like, you know, I should just go out to to Magic Kingdom or something for the night. I'm like, oh, okay, well, guess I'll go to Disney World. <laughs> just my shirt. I thought we would have been off the Haunted Mansion 4, so. Just getting water. Thank you. Just verify. My wife wanted to go to Disneyland, so I got tickets for Disney World instead. That's right. That's how you do it. You go to the big house, not the tiny castle. Yeah. Water. Yep, this one. I'm oh, sorry I couldn't hear you. Your tiny house.
practice a little bit. I don't get around to playing a whole lot of classical stuff. What about the parade?
I see right there with the with the. Oh, shirt that you got says four. Something. You got four. You got four minutes. I have four minutes. This is my official uh, <laughs> reminder of when I'm supposed to stop playing. I appreciate it.
just need to stop doing this. Let's stop. That hurts. I believe it. No, it's on this level. If I was playing out here for like hours on end, then yeah. I might have some issues, but I'm usually on the act. Do you make it all, like, do you write your own arrangements, or do you have printed it for you? Like, what do you do? I mean, Disney doesn't give me anything, uh, and there's not a lot of sheet music for the way I like to play it. Right. So I, I put it together myself. Sometimes I'll, I'll just, someone will ask me, and then I kind of come up with something for and then I take what I improvise and then develop it further. Right. Yeah. Makes it easier to remember to uh, do a cup of natural and then you improve on that. Right. Stop by and then go to Hollywood. Huh? No, I haven't done anything. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, of course. How about yeah. the rest of your day, guys? Coronado, and then I'm gonna go to Hollywood watch Fantasmic. Gotta do that. <laughs> Great, right, team, amazing job as always. I'm gonna get out here. Thank you so much. Uh -oh. Okay. I thought he was like, hey, you can't be leaving. You got work to do. All right. See you later. Let's go. Everybody, let's go catch a bus. I don't know how many fantastic shows have I seen. Like it was like two shows, two shows every Sunday for months and then hmm, there's a, I don't know, it's a lot. Uh, definitely not 250, but double phantasmic for gosh, what is that? At least three months, so two eight. What is this yo? It is 16, 24 plus the random weekday is showings. Plus the random Saturday. Yeah, they're easily done at least 50 plus times. <sighs> park hoppers. Hopping around the parks. Today we're park resort park hopping. just walks right at you. It's crazy. Oh no, I know every word, single song, every musical cue. I know the whole show. I know when something's not right. I know when B mode is going to happen. There's not much about Phantasmic I don't know.
Just a minute. Man, it's hot out here though. I can barely. Disney could use a bit more shade. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy, but a lot of bit more shade. Number 11. First, oh man, our bus is here. Let's go. Man, the bus is already here. All right. Boy, meant something. Talk about timing. Man, I don't know what it is about me and timing, but definitely know how to nail those things. Woo! How you doing? Thank you. All right, break time. How's it going, David? Oh. It feels amazing in here, by the way. Yeah, the bus AC is insanely <laughs> it's, it's good. All right, there's the monorail, and then there's the you know there's the, the boats and stuff, but the bus. Productions, we're about to go to Coronado Springs. Oh. On the bus. We're doing something different. Yep, and then off to Hollywood Studios. So everybody else is just joining us right now, trying to figure out what's going on. We're about to get on, we're on the bus now, going to Coronado Springs. I, I kind of sped walk through the resort the other day, trying to catch a bus to Animal Kingdom that I was super late on. I think on our last 12 hour stream. And uh, I thought it looked really cool. The place is huge. The lobby is amazing. I mean, it feels like Vegas when you're in there. So I was like, all right, well, Grand Destino Tower. So we're, and then there's like that awesome bridge that walks through the lake. There's not much for shade on it, but it'll be interesting. And then after that, we'll uh, head off to Hollywood Studios. 
Hopefully ride a ride or two and watch Fantasmic tonight. The main goal tonight is watch Fantasmic. Oof. Yeah, three ridges bar, yeah. Now obviously we're not going to do any of the um, the pool or the bar or anything like that. More of a just a walk around. Just something different. Alright, Captain Crunch. I'd like to see you in that hop zoom action tonight when we're at Hollywood Studios. I got I can go up here. It's fine. It's not a problem. Yeah, you good. Get on our elevated view up here anyways. Doing. Um, 
we're on our way to Coronado Springs for those who are just joining us. Uh, we're doing a little different. Either, most of the time it's, I usually, uh, I'll either resort hop or I'll park hop. I'm trying to combine the two. Park hop to resort hop to park. Yeah, something like that. So like it's middle of the day, right where it is right now. You kind of want to go to your room, take a shower, refresh. Kind of process that we go into. Then we can walk around the hotel. It looks pretty awesome. I walked through it so fast, I didn't really get to see much of it. Subscribe to the channel. We are just 10 more friends away from that 15,600. 10 more subscribers to go. I'm trying to get uh, Dreamy McDreamy Eyes, uh, Eric from the park hoppers so he can get his uh, certification so he can go diving because I don't know if you guys know this but Eric is a, a fish that slips underwater that's how his eyes are so sparkly it's because the constant water in his eyes cause him to see you know, how that sparkle so I'm trying to get him a dive certification so me and Eric can go diving Uh, driver, I've done the Mickey beignets. I'm gonna tell you now. I've done the Mickey beignets when uh, Return of the Poker Masters here. They're, they're, I wouldn't say they're disappointing, but they're not. They're nothing I would rave about. Well, I dive at dive resorts right now because I don't have a dive partner. Right? I need, I need more dive time, but um, no, I just need you certified. Don't worry about the gear. I'll get the gear. You just get dive certified. It's like 300 and something dollars. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe for you in a minute, I swear, if I don't. <laughs> I wanna bring some cool, like, dive content. Um, it'd be cool to, like, work with, we already, me and the park office already work together, so it'd be cool to work on some other stuff on the side with that. And then we'll just have Monica take sweet video the whole time we're up there. I mean, down underwater, because she, well, yeah. So diving isn't exactly expensive. Um, it's more getting certified. Like my cert was three thirty-seven, three thirty-eight. I think three hundred thirty-eight dollars to get certified. But that's just their cert, right? That doesn't count. Like you need gear. Like I spent another three hundred dollars on fins, uh, water boots, and then um, my mask and some other yeah, and some other stuff. So we can't dive seven seas again, but they will let us dive um, in the shark tank at the Disney's, uh, what do you call it? The at Epcot. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to say anything, but I think Eric knows how to swim pretty well. Yeah, the diving cert is pricey. All the rest of the gear, once you own the gear, you're good. Unless there's repairs, um, diving gear can be good for a long time. Yeah, the coral reef. Um, uh, they do have diving. But it's, the, it's just, well, I get a DVC discount for that. So, it, but it's even then, it's still $190 a person for a 40 minute dive. Well, I mean, uh, Eric's swimming well. I took him to Typhoon Lagoon at Moonlight Magic and the guy was swimming laps around me. I might be fast, but when it comes to the water, Eric's the speed demon.
Like, I'm, like, swimming through the waves. And then Eric's just like, okay, I'll swim around you. Hello, Sam, I am. Dive, dive, dive at Trader Sam's. <laughs> like I want to go and catch lobster, right? I got my I got my license for lobster and stuff like that. I want to go catch lobster, have dinner. catch uh, some lobster and then let's see uh, there's a place to go find shark teeth and I guess megalodon teeth or something like that that sounds really cool and then there's all the different springs around here like I've dove uh, nah, I forgot the name of it And dive. <laughs> oh, Joey G got jokes. I love it. I don't know, but I wanted to. I told Shelly if we ever go to Bim uh, Bimini, uh, which is like a little island out, and you can take a ferry from Fort Lauderdale out there, they have this shark diving thing for like $139. I was like, done. Dive with sharks. I'm in. Let's do it. Shelly's like, you're crazy. And I'm like, I know, you married me. So we're going to skip the first bus stop because it sounds like they have a broken down bus up ahead. We'll just catch the bus. Uh, we'll get off at the next bus stop. This is station two. Oh, never mind. This is good enough for me. Oh yeah, that's where I got off last time. Blue Springs, thank you. Yeah, I am... I am more than uh, ready to go diving at all the different locations and stuff like that. And it would be cool because they will do their, their content. I'd do mine. Um, and then we could have, technically we would have a dive buddy. So that way the state parks don't, like, where's your dive buddy? Like, who? You mean Eric? <laughs> It's very quick to get certified too. I think uh, it took me a Thursday morning at a pool, a couple hours online doing online training, and then uh, two days I went to um, that one, not Blue Springs, the other one. And then boom, before you knew it, we were, uh, well, it's dive certified. I mean, I have the dive certification in my pocket right now. Just because you never know. <laughs> What was that place? Woo, it is hot. There it is. Silver Springs. That's where I went. I went to Silver Springs. Blue Springs was with the kids. <laughs> Die, buddy. You mean Stumpy? This is where I got off the bus the other day. I got off the bus right here at spot two and made it across the entire resort and back and caught the same, but almost caught the same bus that I got off of. Whew. Somebody know. Why do people do these resort tours in the summer? Oh my God, a butterfly is so pretty. Hi, pretty butterfly.
Now there's this one, uh, Blue Springs, it, it goes down 130 feet. Obviously, we wouldn't go that deep, but we would go down there a good way. It's just be fun, flashlights on. I've done a night dive before. And night dives are interesting, right? I'm down there with a flashlight, like 45 feet underwater. And there's sea turtles everywhere. And I'm just like, shark, nope, sea turtle. Shark, nope, sea turtle. All right, no problem, John, uh, JJ. I love this one. When you come out through this way, it just looks so cool. I'm not sure what Adventures with Purpose is. This, if you guys wonder why I took the thumbnail, well, the center thumbnail of the Cornot, I took it right here. Are you talking about all the lizards? Oh man, I, I'm, the lizards are fine. I don't even notice them half the time. So this is Coronado. It's huge. This bridge definitely is a big help if you were to have to walk all the way around. Because it, it, it's a bit of a place. Oh yeah, we definitely go in the lobby. Yep, don't worry everybody, we're, we're gonna go through everything. Just give me a moment to enjoy. Last time I, I walked through here really fast, so. It is very pretty. Very calm too. So Eric's a merman, yep, that's pretty much it. That's, that's where this whole story went to. And I would like to take Eric the merman and myself under the waters out into the middle of Key Largo area and go find my GoPro. <laughs> that shipwreck dive, oh man, that'd be so cool to go back to. It'd be nice to go without the group. My group was in such a hurry when we were diving. They're like, this is the plan, this is where we're gonna go. All right, let's jump in. Because night dives, for some reason, everybody's in a straight hurry. Eric is keen trying with $15. I hope not. Monica's gonna. Ooh. It was weird though. Like, I was sitting there, I was looking at the side of the ship, right? It's an old shipwreck. I'm looking at it. And the next thing I know, I see this big old. Well, because of how deep we are, everything looks gray underwater. And this big gray thing moves by me, and I'm thinking, like, it's a shark. No, sea turtle. I look down, sea turtle. I look in the ribs of the ship sea turtles it's pretty cool I love this bridge I like the fact that there's a restaurant right here so there's a pool right over there we're not gonna go by the pool but pool over there I like the music. Is it 4.30? Yeah, it's just now 4.30. 4.32 midnight daily. I wouldn't say it was totally tubular, but there was this massive crab down there too, and I was just like, oh my gosh. It was and then there's somebody in another group was like, yeah, there was a shark there. And I was like, no, I missed it. And then right before we got on the ship, uh, or the boat, I uh, went to go push myself up. And the little plastic prong that goes on your GoPro mount just snapped off. And I watched the GoPro sink all the way back down. And because I had my um, back all full of air, it's not like I could dive down and grab it, and I only had 500 PSI worth of air left, so I didn't have enough to get back down there and get it. So that's why I lost all the dive footage from that uh, that trip. But Silver Springs, 
I do have that dive footage or of us diving. It's like 25 feet. It's really, I mean, for diving, it's pretty shallow. Uh, but there's a strong current because it is a natural spring. I have tons of weird random videos from Japan, Disneyland, Tokyo Disney, obviously Disney World. Um, castles in Japan, snow monkeys, just every... I, if I went somewhere, I probably made a video of it. <laughs> Whoa, check that pool out. The water's cascading down the uh, the stairs there. That is cool. The tower kind of reminds me of the Bellagio. If you guys have ever been to Vegas, that tower looks like the Bellagio. Just smaller scale. That's why when I came here and I saw the building, I was like, that's the Bellagio. Just, I mean, it looks identical. I mean, besides the, the um, what do you call it? The decorative steel they have on the outside. You take that off, it's the same colors, the same style. Look up a picture of the Bellagio and look at that. It's the same. The coloring is the same. Oh. Oh. Yes. Hey, look at that. We walked right into portable charging. We got food and we got our convention centers. Yeah, when I came through here last time, I was flying through this place. I mean, it's a pretty nice place. I like it. I, um, in the future, obviously, when it's not middle of the summer, um, I will do resort tours where I'll walk around the resorts and I have an idea for, like, how I'm going to do them. I don't, I'm not explaining. I'm not really bad at explaining things. I just kind of do. Um, but I have a plan for resort tours. But when I do the resort tours, I'm going to um, get a refillable mug. That way on those days when I'm walking around, I can refill up throughout the day. Whoa. Wow, this place is huge. Oh my. It's quite the convention hall. <laughs> Ron's 11 and breaks. Ron's 11, oh, Ocean's 11, Ron's 11, gotcha. Yeah, I definitely need to go this way last time. Um, I've never used the fuel charging rods just because I don't... I always bring my own batteries and everything. Because I have um, fast charging and everything on those batteries. The fuel rods do not have that option but it is nice if you do need to have something like that it's available there is this bus stop right here it is the Bellagio just looking at from this angle the run on the go convention <laughs> pretty sure I get in trouble for that and there goes the bus to Magic Kingdom so next time I'm here and I decide to rush across all the hall, I can come through the convention hall, hit that bus stop right there, instead of doing what I did last time. This is one isn't... Yeah, this hotel in general is not crazy expensive. And Solo says, I love the stuff on your streams. 
the things we rarely get to see. Thanks for being creative. No problem. Um, I, I also have felt like lately, um, I'm going to try some new stuff, especially with the summertime temperatures coming out now, walking through a giant hotel like this with not in the direct sunlight and air conditioning is probably a smart idea for a couple months, just for a couple months. Don't worry, Christmas time, it's 100% parks. There will be no resorts. Christmas time, it's Christmas time, it's Christmas. <laughs> Deluxe light. <laughs> now, if you have a kid, oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Say the weather is horrible outside right now and your kids are like, I wanna run around. This feels like a safe place to let your kid run around without breaking anything. Just keep them away from the windows, I think you'll be good. I always have to think about that with my, my daughter because she gets really bored, right? She's like me. She's very active and wants to do things constantly. So a space like this, on let's say a bad weather day or um, it's really hot out and they can't play outside. <laughs> There's like, Allie, go all the way down to that door and come back. She does that twice. We're done for the day. She'll be tired. This is wild. I did not know this existed. This is huge. Oh my God, this place is huge. This is a massive place. I mean, it's already a massive place in general, but like, man. Talk about it just keeps going on and on forever. All right, let's go look at the rest of the building. Yeah, I know I know about the convention at the Grand Floridian. I've seen that one. This is wild, though. <laughs> well, there wouldn't be any people. There's no conventions right now. So, like, you know when those, like... Um, uh, what do you call it? The cheer, cheerleading conventions or the gymnastic stuff like that. They usually run out places like this because they have so many people coming. I don't know, but I don't know how many ballrooms. There's a map over here. I'm not going to go look at the map. I'm sure this isn't the shot. I mean, it's crazy looking. I just look at the carpet, right? So I used to do carpet because my dad has been laying carpet since I was a little kid. So... I always look for like the seams. <laughs> God, it looks like one piece though. They did a good job. All right. So we were just, wow, this place is massive. <laughs> Bus stops there. Okay, we're here right now. And we just walked to this hallway here. And then that second hallway we were looking down was here and that's the big exhibit halls. Let's see, we got the small rooms. That That's massive. I'm really good at maps. Um, was in the military too. That was just kind of my thing. Maps were my, that's why I was lead truck in every mission. I knew exactly, I could look at a place, identify something like this bus stop here and know that we're here. Sorry, yeah, we're right there. Man, it's wild though. You look at it, like all the tiny meeting rooms. Then these are the. So you, you see how the the lines are in it like that? These are partition walls. And they they are movable, so you can turn this entire, not only this whole section's here, but you can make this entire one giant room. The only time it doesn't do that is if you'll see like little solid lines like this. But yeah, anything with a dotted line, you can move those walls. They're partition walls. They'll move this way, this way, and you can have that whole section. I ran. A, I worked for an anime convention in Seattle for a while, and uh, we would used to do that. So like these would be like video rooms here, and then these would be like big video rooms in the middle. This would be like the main events room. We just opened the whole place up, and over here we'd have like the exhibitors hall where we'd sell and, like people vendors would come and sell stuff. Yeah, a little history there. My job was uh. 
audio and operations manager. So we built our own audio. Oh man, somebody left the door open. Don't do that, don't leave the door open. Um, so yeah, I used to work for, not work for, because it was a volunteer, but I used to work with an anime convention, and, uh, oh, I wonder if we can look in the door. Don't go in the door, but we can look in the door. I'll show you what I mean about how big these things are. So this is that one room I was talking about with all the partition walls. So. So this is four rooms into one. And then you can see the track right there. And that's where the walls will move to make this one room or two rooms. Three rooms and four rooms. Thanks for tuning this place. It really helps this travel business to get a better look at the uh, hotels rather than just reading. No problem, uh, theme park fanatic. I have a general idea of convention spaces and stuff. So I did work with that anime convention for like seven years. So like event space, contracts, stuff like that. My family was really invested into the whole anime convention. So I just like the operations and stuff. I never got really into the whole um, anime thing. What did Eric say? What 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 park hopper say? And then usually you have a lot of food and restaurants around large convention spaces like that because people like to it's like outdoor courtyards are always a must for people who wanna get fresh air and stuff like that. This this resort is beautifully laid out for convention space and then like I love the design. Bus is conveniently located right outside the door. Say if you want to go to the parks or something like that, you come down this way, it takes you towards the lobby. I say it takes you towards the lobby because the lobby is a long ways from here. See, and then again, if this was open, more drink spots. So like I said, when I start doing resort tours, eventually in the future, there will be vlogs, less live streaming. Um, I'll, uh, definitely be carrying around that resort refillable it's a good idea oh man oh that's a Joffrey size donuts uh, with DVC you cannot say it's just any resort hotel you have it has to be a D like I can say at any hotel but I can't say any hotel with my points how I better explain it DVC points are only for DVC based hotels or you can convert them to RCI hotel points. I haven't done the RCI conversion yet, but I know it's a possibility. I just haven't done it because we usually like staying at Disney properties. They have these cool workstations here. I thought it was like a lobby check-in because of the way it looks, but it's actually a place where you can charge your phone, you got USB-C regular charging, right? more charging ports, some desk space. I don't know exactly what the desk space is for, but um, yeah, I was watching, the other day I came through here, there was like four people here all working on some stuff right here on their laptops and everything, so very cool, I like it. I kind of bummed we booked this hotel twice me and Shelly and each time something came up so we had to cancel and now after walking through here and everything I'm like man we really missed out yes that was the old lobby before the build uh, the new uh, tower was built
Let's see, John says, how many resorts have large convention areas like this? I might have a convention for next year and won't know <laughs> if it's out of all visiting world. 10,000 attending. That, that convention hall back here easily hold 10,000. But uh, there's a resort, resort world, Marriott Resort World, right off the property, which has a massive convention center. This convention center is everywhere here. And then, of course, there's the Orlando Convention Center. This is a good spot for the next 24 hours. <laughs> See there. Private event outside. And now we're getting into the main building here. Oh. We're gonna go out this door real quick. Just yeah. So I can give you. So of course they got the uh, campfire, make some s'mores from 6.30 to 7.30, arts and craft, pool activities, uh, color carnado. There's like experiences, let's see, Spanish mosaic art from Monday, Wednesday, to Saturday is from one to three. It is, these are, some of these items are an upcharge. They're not for you, like Mickey tie-dye Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.15. There's obviously a bunch of activities you can do, but, it out let's see where is it which one has the Mickey in it I think they're the same I think it's that one right there like it's a half moon Mickey I can't remember one of them has like a hidden Mickey in it Swan Dog Convention Center is huge it is as is Gaylor. Yeah, Gaylor Palms has a massive convention center too. Everything here has, I, it's always to attract uh, businesses and stuff, so. so uh, Dashing Dave, how you doing? Good, good to see you. Hi. Let's go back inside. Oh, God. That crazy guy, nice to see you. Thanks for uh, the information. Yeah, uh, Swan and Dolphin, also another massive location, so. Here we are in the tower. Or the lobby of the tower. And then it's just, it's just very Bellagio slash, I say Bellagio until you look over here and that looks identical to the Riviera. This area right here, was it the Riviera? One of the bars, uh, one of the hotels, I can't remember, maybe it was the Riviera, but it looks identical to this. So, bar downstairs. And we're at 12%. Oh boy, I always forget how fast S22 dies. All right, we're gonna take a moment, sit down and switch out. Please be charged. Yes, we are good. What I do is I look to see if there's any smudges or anything on the lens. And get it right, right there. All right, I got it. It's all set up, and now we're gonna switch you guys. I'm just gonna set that down. Just like that, we have switched phones and we are good to go again. Here, I'll just...
Kevin Coda, oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the five channel members. It's very generous of you. I'm trying to see if I have any more. I don't, okay. Thank you, Kevin, I greatly appreciate it. Let's see who, who got those there. Hold on a second. It's not loading yet. Come on, load for us. All right, here we go. We got... John, welcome. And then uh, Kevin Coda said, we got James, Mana Mouse, Dashing Dave, Douglas D, and Dash, Dashing Dave. Oh, Dashing Dave asked to, um, go ahead and send us an email, Dashing Dave, if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, we're not gonna, don't really cover that stuff here. Uh, ICON8630 at gmail.com if you want to get a hold of us on anything like that. Because uh, that's going to be more my wife working on those things, not so much myself. Um, cool Girl 7 was uh, gifted a membership from Theme Park. Oh my god, there we go. Um, Mana Mouse, James, Does D, Dashing Dave, and Queen of Disney. Congratulations on all your gifted membership. Thank you, Kevin. And then Theme Park uh, Fanatic also gifted a uh, membership to Pool Girl. Thank you. For <laughs> Thank you guys. Sorry, I was clicking through some things. Because uh, in the end, uh, Dashing Dave, my wife does all the work on all these things. And, uh, and she's the one who can tell you if it's going to work out or not. I just live here. So yeah, she made this one. Because we'll see you when we get to where we don't know. Yes, I agree. Deluxe feel with a... Make sure we get everything in. All right. Let's get moving. The J, welcome. If you guys ever in the area. They've got a chess set over there you can play. I like how it's a mirrored ceiling. <laughs> Tiger Web just picked up his post work Chick fil A. <laughs> I'm hoping tonight I get to do the same thing. If I end just in the rough time and leave Hollywood Studios, I should be able to get that post stream Chick fil A tonight. staff here. It's pretty awesome. I mean, like, this place is beautiful. For... It definitely gives me Vegas flashbacks. Except more windows. In Vegas, there's not so many windows. Gotta get that barbecue sauce for the sandwich, too. That's right.
Now, when you enter the building, you go to the left. <laughs> you go to the left and right over here, it'll say restroom. We're gonna use one of those right now. So I will be right back in just a minute, everybody. Oh, that's not the button we want. We want this button here and I'll be right back. And we're back. In a moment. And well, we got we kind of sped through this place. We can we can spend another minute here. I have an idea. I kind of want to see the pool now. I just I gotta see the pool. Okay. get out there and well you got hammocks here yep way off in the distance there's just seating well obviously oh no that's not room yeah there's just seating everywhere here too here's the fire pit I forgot it was uh, that warm outside. Got so used to being inside for a minute there. You definitely use those hammocks. <laughs> yeah, so they got hammocks over there, but there are people sitting in them, so I'm not gonna zoom in on the hammocks, but they do have them. I gotta see this pool. There's like a waterfall coming down from the, the temple or the pyramid thing. To give you an idea, in case Nikki's still here, you can fit Disneyland in this area. Welcome if. Jonathan says I've stayed here. I mean, it's, it's nice. Now I'm kind of sad we didn't stay here in the multiple times we came by.
And it's super convenient because the bus from here to Hollywood is a straight shot. And to Animal Kingdom is right down the road as well. All right, Roy, see you tomorrow. Ah, a bigger map, I love a bigger map. Or no, this is the pool. The ruins, they're calling it the ruins. The spa, wow, it's been the ruins. I gotta see this thing now. That is cool. I love the waterfall. Too bad it wasn't part of like a water slide or something. So that's really cool. Oh, there is a water slide. Never mind. Looks like a small water slide, but there is a water slide. Noise. The short walk to the Skyliner. What's what Skyliner is nearby here? I'd say there's there's no skyliner nearby here. Nice. Okay, we'll go this way. We got volleyball over here too. I love the theming of this place. Now the more we walk around, I'm like, man, this place is cool. Is it Friday? Man, I did not think it was Friday. That's that's why I don't do all day streams on a Friday. Now, I, I thought today was Saturday. Man. Because Shelly's already home and I'm like over here going, is it Friday? This place is huge though. Where are we? 
Got it. It's really quiet too. I'm looking for a cat. Uh, is that cactus? There it is. Check that out. Oh, there we go. Oh man. I'll never forget that night. <laughs> so we're in Colorado. Most people don't think Colorado is like desert, but like Colorado is the desert. And we're doing a night mission and we're running through a field to do training purposes. And uh, as I was running, um, and I'm like running through the wood, or not the wood, sorry, the open fields. And my sergeant goes, all right, you go left, I'll go right, and we're gonna do this. And I, I literally stand up, I walk two feet, and you can hear me go <laughs> as I walked into Kind of like a cactus like that, but much shorter. Probably about the size of this bush here. And I have needles down. He's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, oh, I just got stabbed multiple times. And he's like, by what? And I'm like, this. And he looks and he goes, you're fine. I'm not fine. I'm sweating real bad. It was bad. I do not have V-neck t-shirts, but if you are interested, I can um, email um, my wife at icon8630 at gmail.com and uh, anything you guys are looking for we can try to accommodate we'll just let you know looks like we missed some buses already probably missed a Hollywood bus just now next stop Hollywood Studios But yeah, it, it was a. Uh... It was an experience to walk. I was sweating. It's amazing what cat cactus like makes you feel like. I, I just pouring sweat. There's nothing wrong. It was a cold night, but luckily it was just like a standard thorny bush, pretty much. But man, that was wild. Spent an hour pulling those out. My medic's like, are you okay? And I'm like, no. And he's like, oh yeah, you're gonna be there for a while. You're good. I don't like visiting Toy Story Land because it has the least amount of shade and it has the longest lines for the park. Another the thing, we won't go there. I bet we just missed Hollywood, didn't we? Yep, we just missed the Hollywood bus. I just can't believe how cheap our meal was today. That restaurant right now. Her sushi was 10. Well, so I got two kids' sandwiches. I would not mind a, getting a Ron on the go pirate tank top. Mm. I mean, we can get tank tops. Tank tops. Sorry, I thought I saw a gator. I was like, oh my gosh, is that a gator? No, it's a stick. Man. Bummer. Hello, Holly. Kingdom. That one's like 10 minutes early.
Oh, what is going on? This phone be getting all kinds of issues right now. Hold on a second, everybody. Later. Milkshakes. Oof. I couldn't imagine having a milkshake today. Mm. No, not yet. Um, so tomorrow, oh you don't forget. Oh yeah, the, the the giveaways got 45 minutes left. So everybody down in the description below, gleam.io, enter yourself a chance to win some free stuff. We have some run on the go prizes and we got some Disney prizes like ears, lounge fly, uh I've caught uh, blanket, some stuff like that. Um there's a bunch of stuff I can't remember all of it at the current moment. Uh enter yourself a win a chance to win all that down in the description below. Uh, it does end at 6 o'clock today. I thought I'd be home by 6 tonight to actually announce all the winners and email them, but uh, I'll have to do that later tonight when I get home. <laughs> Debbie says I watched watching another YouTuber and where she sat the giant iguana just casual appeared and no one mentioned it or freaked me out. That'd be kind of cool. The only time I see giant iguana is every time I go down to like the keys. I don't know. Let's see how hot it is. I mean, surprisingly, I'm not as nearly as hot as I thought I'd be living in Florida. Let's see, loading, loading, loading. It's supposed to be much harder this week. It says 89 feels like 94. Oh, we've had hotter recently. <laughs> Add them up. <laughs> yeah, 89 feels like 94. Humidity is 48%, so honestly, it's not that bad today. Humidity is under 50%. That's where you want it. Moderate UV. Like I said, today is kind of nice out. Magic Kingdom's here. Now it says our bus is going to be here for another 15 minutes. Either way, uh, let's see. Kevin Cota with the five gifted membership. Theme Park Fanatic with the gifted membership again. 
Thank you guys so much. Thank you everybody for subscribing today. I hope you guys are enjoying today's impromptu all day stream. The Toy Story bus does look pretty cool. Too bad it's going to Epcot. Let me find this. I want If you guys got a moment, subscribe to the channel. It is free to do. That'd be super cool. Super cool. The problem with going to Epcot is then we go to the front of Epcot. We go through security. We walk through, and then it's going to take me a minute. Like I have a bunch of stuff in my bag for today. After we go through security, we'll walk through Epcot, get out of Epcot, go on the Skyliner, and then walk, go back through security again. If I just do it the way we're doing it now, we'll go to the security once and we'll have time to go ride some rides. I think that's our bus. We're just 10 away from 600. Uh, what bus do we got coming around? I bet it's Disney Springs. Another Animal Kingdom bus already? That was fast. Mary said, my sister watches all the time. She told me about it, now I'm watching. Well, thanks for being here, Mary. The clouds have come out. bus. Oh, we actually went backwards. See? We lost somebody. There's the Disney Springs bus. Called it. Like I said, when we walked up, we probably just missed the Hollywood Studios bus. Magic Kingdom again. You all not like Hollywood Studios? I wanted to show you guys something before we go. Now that everybody's gone. This is a vending machine. There are many like it across the park. Well, this one is not mine. This Powerade, I'm gonna press the Powerade button, is $5. This monster is $5.50. Yeah. This Sprite is 450. So, if you're at the bus stop, just know that they have, they have vending machines. It's just gonna be a wee bit on the spendy side.
Now at Tokyo Disney, another reason why I love Tokyo Disney, their vending machine's highest dollar is $2 per drink. And let me tell you, the turnover rate is insane. They literally buy them up and they're constantly restocking them throughout the day. Looks like there's a hole in the ground. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, DTY, no joke. It's funny. We've had two Magic Kingdoms and two Animal Kingdom buses show up. Disney Springs and Epcot. We've had five buses. Let's see how far they pushed us out. Okay, so now it's 5.34. When I walked up, it said 5.26. Now it's 5.34, so. It's crazy where you're going to get the Hollywood Studios. We only have like two hours left until we got to go watch, or a little over two hours until we have to go get a spot for Fantasmic. I'm a Blizzard Beach fan. I guess I could set you down. You don't want to let up. Oh, I smudged them. It's really nice out today. Honestly, it's, it's not nearly as bad. Like, I've sweat way worse. It's just hot in that direct sunlight. Right now, it's behind a really thick cloud. So. But everything is. Everything I you touch right now is just radiating heat. Like all the concrete right here, just. What's going on, Forza? My favorite brand of bottled water is Smart Water. Um, it's the only one, it's the only water that I don't. I can straight drink, like with chug straight Smart Water. But other, like Dasani and stuff, I, I always feel like sick after just one bottle. Disney transportation. Like I said, we missed the Hollywood Studios bus as we were walking up to it. Oh yeah, Forza is very like. Do you see this cloud right here? Feels great. Anything is better than that boutique camp canteen water. Not a joke there. Woo, that was some rough times. Drink water. I'm like, ah. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, I remember drinking too. And like. It's one thing the military teaches you, you know when you're dehydrated if you're not. I know I'm not dehydrated because I can still sweat, I still need to use the restroom, and uh, I don't feel dizzy or lightheaded. Those are just usual like things that let, let you know that you're dehydrated. The thing is if you drink too much water, um, even if you drink water now, it doesn't matter. I mean, it matters, but, like, it doesn't because uh, your body's just going to uh, have the water run through you. If you hydrate the day before, you'll be fine, which I did. This could be us. This could be us. This could be us. Yes.
We should finally get going. <laughs> Getting all DTY our buses here. No! <laughs> it's all about taking that Disney transportation. But thank you, ZTY, for the ten dollars. But the bus is here now. and stuff like that the whole point of it is like to get that full experience of like we went to the resort we were at our room we walked around and now woo, and then we walk back and then we take transportation back to the park we have to assume that i have no car here Outside though, it feels freezing in here. station for it's a little more shaded look at that it's got some trees on the outside a little bit of higher walls everybody for being here um i know it's not the resorts are not always the most interesting but i i don't know what i'm doing so i try my best <laughs> this is a, a new idea i'm giving it a test out here If you guys are enjoying today's stream don't forget to hit the like button but more importantly skip the like button go straight to the subscribe button it's free to do there's no subscription fees and you can cancel at any time no contracts that looks cool definitely my first day JJ two more bus stops here we're gonna do one right in front of the building or the the tower and then we're gonna go to the one by the convention center and then we'll be on our way to Hollywood Studios I do like all the uh, the trees and the sh I mean, this is a nice place they should probably advertise it I mean after walking around what we saw today I, I would already say they need to advertise this place up a bit more. This place is beautiful. Not just the tower, just like walking across the bridge and the lake.
I just love how I like, if I ever miss the Bellagio in Vegas, <laughs> the window design, everything about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Hold on, I gotta show you guys, this is crazy. Bellagio. Bellagio. Me a side photo. It's not the greatest photo to like represent, but you can see the colors of the tower and like how they built it. I mean, they're, they're pretty close together. Justin Frank has become a member for two months in a row. Always enjoy the streams that help me make the work day go by faster. With all the Disney magic you show. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Justin Frank. Glad you enjoy everything. And uh, thank you for the two months of uh, being a member. Oh, and it's my wife. That's two messages from my wife. Just past Coronado headed to Epcot in uh, MK. Buses are free and you can take them as you like so you can go experience the resorts and go to their restaurants and buy their merch and other things and consider staying at them like after going to Coronado I'm like man I should stay at Coronado it works
why I picked Coronado. See, we're already here. We're pulling into Hollywood. So there you go. there's All Star Pop, Art of Animation. Well, technically, it's, it's, yeah, those three. And then the French Quarter, Port Orleans, and then uh, Coronado, Saratoga Springs, uh, Old Key West. a whole bunch right now in my head right now but there's everywhere everywhere you go there's like a resort Cuck, yacht beach club boardwalk let's see where else did we say that the animal kingdom lodge Security. I will get a complete bag search because I do have multiple batteries. It will take a moment. So, uh, that's coming up in a couple minutes. We'll get inside and do what we can where we can. Let's see what kind of wait times we got going on. A tower of terror, that's my <laughs> 45 for tower right now? Six? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. And my leg's numb. Oh, I sat on my leg. Ah, it's numb now. I'm going to go with the off pirates all day for $5. Thank you so much. We, uh, we're just... What? 14? Less than 14 hours out? Yeah, so... 12 with 7. Something like that. Got to do math in my head now. 14 hours. Yeah, we're 14 hours away from the all-day Pirates of the Caribbean ride thon We are going to try, uh, try to break said record that is 28 times. But the main goal is just to ride it as many times as we can. But you guys know I like a good challenge. I <laughs> got my eye patch and bottle of rum ready. <laughs> I got two batteries, a gimbal, and some cable. <laughs> we're, we're good to go. Oh, that's aw awesome, Toby. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read. I got direct sunlight in my face right now, so. Kind of hard to read the uh, the messages, but that, Toby, that's so cool. Day one. There is some weather moving in off in the distance um, that way, but I don't know if it's moving towards us or not. So we'll watch. We'll see what happens. I mean, I wouldn't mind the cloud cover.
<laughs> I'll bring the parrot with the wooden leg. What's the pirate's favorite letter in the alphabet? R. Wait, what do I still have in this? Oh, I'm still on the umbrella. Never mind. I was like, maybe I can hold the umbrella. And the, um. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right, you know what time it is. It's coming up on that security time. Welcome to the screen. So, doesn't look like there's anybody really getting bag searched or anything, so it should be straight to a bag search. And then as soon as we're done, I will get you guys, and we'll get uh, into Hollywood Studios. Oh yeah. Let me know if we're gonna have to throw this away. There we go. I heard I got water here. That's why we're here. You know what? I'm just gonna pay for power right. Never mind. No, it's so, so Toby, um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, there's a 5G plus, and whenever my phone connects to 5G plus, I lose all signal. And it won't go away. I have to keep resetting it. So, that's what happened. Just so you guys know. I <laughs> try to keep it quiet, but they wouldn't listen. <laughs> Are you going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow? Oh, yeah. I just got one of those notifications like, hey, tomorrow.
Yeah, so there's this thing. So if you can stay on 5G, 4G, I can hold the signal. As soon as it goes to 5G plus, I lose everything. I can't even make a phone call on 5G plus. I don't get it. Well, welcome to Hollywood Studios, everybody. Oh, again, I hope you guys are enjoying today's stream. If you are, help us out here. Subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. We are just now five more friends away from hitting 600 a day. Can we get five more friends on the channel? And let me open this Disney app here. I am going to have to make a stop. Order. order now now man the Disney yeah. like my Disney experience uh, if there's anything they need to work on it's more than the parks is the fact that this app crashes non-stop They're not. There we go. Wookie cookie. Is there not? There it is. Oh my gosh. I have the order. We're gonna go chug a bunch of Powerade right now. <laughs> then we go ride rides. It's okay, we got a moment. Five minutes to enter the giveaway, everybody. Down in the description below, gleam.io. You don't have to be subscribed, or you can just be stopping by. Gleam.io, click the link. You'll have a couple links you'll click. Like my, all you need is an email address and a name. You'll go to my Instagram, my Facebook, uh, no, sorry, not Facebook, you Instagram, YouTube, and website. Enter yourself a chance to win some free stuff. Nice, it's ready. What's going on here? Four more minutes. Number four. Four eight two one. Four eight two one. Thank you. That's how you do it, everybody. I already got my cup. Woo! Press that. Do some of that. Do a whole lot of that. More. 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 Now remember, at the vending machine, this was five dollars. This is four twenty-nine here, and I can fill it up twice or more. Whew. Oh man. Almost up. Again. That one's out again. That one's out again. Whew. You can also go with mustard packets. <laughs> What's up, Uncle Orville? I'm so in tune, I'm talking to the machine. Hold on a second. 
This is good stuff right here. Hold on. I wasn't hot until we got into Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios is very this is crazy. Parking lots, uh, Coronado, I was fine. As soon as we got into Hollywood Studios, the temperature just increased drastically. One more and we'll be good. Let me go get one more. It is now six o'clock. The only thing I can do is see how many people entered the giveaway. So hold on a second. We had 1,192 entries. Out a total of 428 people uh, enter the giveaway. Now again, I can't check any of this stuff until later. I just got an email letting me know that it's done. So, um, I, I'm doing fine. It's just like I said, we got into Hollywood Studios, and all of a sudden I'm started sweating. But by the whole time we were at Coronado, I was fine, walking around outside and everything. I don't know why my giveaways are always in Tokyo time. Oh yeah. You're a Disney princess. <laughs> Thanks, Nikki. All right, a couple more minutes and uh, I'm just gonna finish off the left. I'm already right down to here already, so almost done. Like I said, everybody, I'm used to being hot. As much as I don't like being hot, I always put myself in hot situations. Like my last job, I painted boats. Those temperatures were in the hundreds. It's 100 and something, like 98 to 105. But yeah, paint dries really fast at 105.
Yep, we're good. Oh yeah, and the weather has changed drastically. Well, it depends. If I'm not driving my right, Jonathan, if I'm driving my right-hand car, then yeah, it's hot. There's no AC in my right-hand drive. But now, that weather I was worried about is right above us. So now the weather feels great. And we're hydrated. Actually, I think we're a little overhydrated. Oh. Yep. Probably could have done a half cup on the last one. Hey, Jay Booker. Pretty. We're gonna walk by Mickey and Minnie's, kind of see where the line is on that. I know it says like it's a 70 minute wait or something like that, but we're just gonna look at it. I'm Pocahontas. <laughs> it's literally in your name. It's a Ronto wrap. Maybe what we do is we do. Oh man, Rise is a 50 right now. What the? Who broke Disney? TNF Adventure says, Lon, well, looking forward to tomorrow's Pirates. It's going to be an interesting day. For sure. I'm not hot. Like, honestly, it's the, the sun being gone right now, this feels amazing. Like, summer could be like this all the time. That's why I'm hoping in the future I can start doing more evening streams and less like first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning streams will always have blue skies. Something about Florida in the morning, it's always nice and blue. Which makes it hot. Then the evening. Becca, what's going on? No. I know, but everybody sees the dark clouds and there's a ton of people that look like they're leaving the park right now. Dark clouds don't indicate rain. This means uh, potential. Oh yeah, there's a line. So that's the lightning lane line. It's always cool. See that many people standing there for lightning lane. If you see that many people for lightning lane, don't get in the standby queue. You're gonna hate it. You're not gonna be happy. And yep. Don't get in that line. All right. We're going to go to Tower. I have this huge fascination with Tower lately. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. We are three more away. Do you want um, Let's do this. Make it nice and large like that so everybody can see the numbers roll. Can we get three more friends on the channel right now? Anybody? And then I decided to drop the supplies on Alita and Luke that I was going to let them have it. And they were... And they were 
This is a live feed right now of the subscriber numbers. Anybody? Don't forget to join us tomorrow as we go to Magic Kingdom where we're going to ride Pirates of the Caribbean for 13 hours. Now I say 13 hours because the park is only open from 9 to 10 p.m. tomorrow. There's one. We need two more. Anybody else? Tomorrow we're about to be on Sunset Boulevard. Oh, <laughs> see every time I pull it away. Woo! If Kim was here, she would have loved that. Triple digit roll. Thank you, everybody. That was the goal for the day. Hit the 600. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody, that was the goal for the day. That was a lot of cast members standing right there. Hopefully everything's okay. Or, oh, you know, that's probably the Phantasmic crew. Just thought about that. Thank you everybody so much, 15,600. We hit 15,000 last Thursday. It is now a week and eight days later and we're already up 600 more people. Thank you everybody so much, greatly appreciate it. What is going on? Whew. I think it's the ground. Well, if it rains, okay, that's an experience you don't want to experience when you're here. When it rains at Hollywood Studios, uh, or any of the parks actually anywhere in Florida anytime it rains here the ground is so hot that any water unless it's a huge amount of rain uh, just turns into really hot steam rain or steam and then it feels like you're just cooking does this photo look familiar It's always like my go-to photo. It looks super good. Because it always makes power look like it's leaning backwards. It's not... Oh, Major Gray, how you doing? Let's see how bad it is. Is it up and to the right or is it up and around? Please and just be come on up and to the right. Oh we have thunder in the area now. Well, that sounded cool. Oh, rain. If it does rain, we're just stand right here. I got the umbrella. It's weird. It's like above 
85 right now. They don't have the misters on. Oh, okay, it does go all the way around. This is going to be a while. Possibly. It all depends on how many more lightning lanes we see. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. You can sit next to me. No, this one just goes. Yeah. 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 Like, there's a lot of weird things. Like, I can ride teacups just fine. Well, so. Yeah, it's like you, but I can too. It's mm. out, outdoor stuff. Like, I used to go to fairs and do the city stuff. Oh, yes, I can see outside. Right, but like that has no effect on whether I'm inside or outside will still affect me. Yeah, I'm talking about the line in front of us. It's moved once since we've been in line, so I'm trying to get a gauge on it. Because Tower is one of those rides where if you go to it right before Phantasmic, there's usually not a line because everybody just turns into Phantasmic and skips Tower. In my favorite place with my favorite people. <laughs> That's what all their shirts say. In my favorite place with my favorite people. If he doesn't move in the next four minutes, we gotta go somewhere else. What did I miss there? Yeah. All right, we're moving. Okay, we're fine. Glad you had an awesome trip, uh, Major Gray. Ah, uh, Adam up with the jokes. I got a, I got a good deal on corn for tomorrow's live stream. Just a buccaneer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was horrible. I didn't think it was horrible. Pirates is perfect, Ron, especially because he likes the letter R. <laughs> it's the first letter of my name. R. There's always weird conversations around us all the time. 
I, I most of the time I just tone them out because I, you, you hear it every day. Like, you know, we're here every day. See if we can get this. Ready? Oh, we're moving. Ow! <laughs> there they were. Oh, we moved right at the wrong time. Oh, man. So, uh, Tower has no reason to rebrand here. They rebranded Tower in California because they're trying to make an Avenger campus area. That was the only reason for it. They were trying to get uh, some kind of momentum on the whole. Right? How many times have we been like, oh, now they're doing that? Like. Like when the when merch comes out, they're just like, yeah, we, uh, and you're just like, that movie's been out for years. We're just now getting that kind of merch. I'm sure I feel like I want something. I'm exhausted. I even have, even have a blister to prove it. <laughs> That's one thing I never got. I know I, I walk every day and you guys are like, man, you're there every day and everything. But I've never gotten a, a blister from all this. And I know I walk a lot and everything. Now, I mean, now obviously I'm doing fine. But like from the beginning, I was like, man, I'm going to get blisters. I'm hot and everything and I oh, do pretty good. I think she's already up Well, I mean, think about it. The whole reason they were trying to create an Avenger, like, it, from this side of the Mississippi, right? So, from the Mississippi over, we can't have Avengers, like, Iron Man, stuff like that, right? Because Universal owns that on this side of the Mississippi. It's part of their agreement or whatever. So, instead of building a whole new area, they just rebranded. They still have Tower of Terror in America. They just don't have Tower of Terror in Disneyland anymore, which is fine because they rebranded all of, uh, California Adventure anyways from California's Great, what was it, Great America California or something like that to, you know, Disney's California Adventure. Oh, was that raindrops? Possibly. I don't know, but the weather got very nice and chilly now. I ain't even mad about it right now. I love California Adventures Tower, right? Because it's unique to that area. Like, just like we have the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Will they rebrand this one? Absolutely not. Unless something comes up. But I feel if they were to build an adventure, remember, California has no land to expand on anything, so they have to rebrand rides and stuff. Where here at Disney World, they'll go to like, hey, Hollywood Studios, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and make an adventure campus. That's probably what they would do, too. I, wouldn't, I would not want to see an adventure campus be built at Magic Kingdom. It just doesn't fit it. Tron, Tomorrowland, okay. Because it's, you know, futuristic and stuff. But anything outside of that? They always say they're in the process of expanding California. 
It's just like, you know, Epcot's gonna get that expansion that we've all been waiting years for. Ooh, drink a lot of fluids. So delicious. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't mind if uh, they do what they got to do to get some kind of Marvel based things here. What? I mean, I. Whatever. I mean, but in the end, we all want, really want villains. We want villains areas. It's only been announced, I don't know, for how many years. Villains, remember when they had villains after hours? The after dark or whatever, villains after dark events? Man, people love that stuff. Where is those? Special villains, character meet and greets and everything? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the win uh, the giveaway will have 15 winners. Again, I don't know the winner. I can't actually like. You know how like certain websites work on a phone. Some don't. I can, I can draw names on the phone, but then it's not going to be the same way when I get home. Don't worry, buddy. I email you. You email me back. And then in the community tab, I'll post the winner names in the, hopefully by tonight. This is moving pretty quickly, actually. I'm not too concerned with the wait time now. Seems like they're being pretty fair on this one. Either way, like I was saying, like, as much as everybody likes Avengers and everything, I feel like the whole uh, expansion of what they're doing right now with it, kind of like with uh, Eternals and what's this be fair? Not a very uh, liked movie. The mythical fifth gate, yeah, I know, right? If they were to do that, it would turn Disney into a five-day um, ticket, right? Like, experience Disney World for five days for whatever price. You know, they could sell week-long packages, a park a day. Like, it would just... Money-wise, because I'm business-minded here, makes sense, right? Four days, so I'll fly in on a Monday, or we can fly on a Friday... Four days you have, a, you kind of think about your schedule. If you're doing five days, you're like, all right, Monday, parks, Friday, parks, Saturday to Saturday, fly in, fly out. Too much liquid.
Man, this line is. We're cooking. I mean, this is crazy. I can't wait till the day we get to do all day tower. I'm gonna tell you now, there's very many rides where I'm like, people mover all day, yes. Tower, yes. Smugglers run, yes. Navi River, meh. Well, do it, yeah, but all day Space Ranger spin, okay. Uh, the uh, Tomorrowland Speedway, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. Only because it's like, we're gonna ride almost probably every car they have on the track at that point that day. I say almost, I'm guaranteeing we're gonna miss a couple of cars there and we're gonna have a couple of repeats, but caught all skirting around the speedway all day something like that i don't know we'll come a cool catchy name all day now river all right flight of passage is in the works as in just like riding it in general so that's gonna be a little bit Yeah, but not, not until after summer. There's no way I'm doing the Speedway during the summer. So, um... What is the record for the Tower Terror? I mean, I gotta start figuring out all these. Like, we know Pirates is 28. So, Pirates' goal is minimum of 28 on Saturday. Tomorrow. I mean, all day Mickey Minis Railway, I, I've considered that one as well. Like, Spaceship Earth, Mickey Mini, Buzz Lightyear, Haunted Mansion. I mean, there's a couple of them I'm like, okay, we could do those probably in the summer because they are, remember, we're only doing one a month. We're not, we're not trying to make it like knock them all out in one day, you know, one month. We're just trying to like throw in a little interesting uh, event every month. I got a plan. Don't worry, everybody. Eventually, we'll get to everything but Small World. <laughs> Christopher, welcome. So we'll do all the ride challenges at Test Small World. We're just gonna avoid that completely. Well, there's a uh, obviously there's no um, what's that ride called? Um, Mission Space. Because well, I mean I could do it, but it have to be a vlog because you can't really bring like a gimbal or have a test mount in because of the way the harness system works and everything. So I don't know. I'm not doing it. That one will actually ruin me. I probably get about. Two, two oranges in and I'd be done for the day. <laughs> I said I might do Small World at 100,000. Possibility. Never confirmed that. Ashley, I think for the all-day soaring, I think that's just something like in the future. I'd, as much as I love, I don't love soaring. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I tried. I can't lie to you. I don't love soaring. I think soaring's boring. It's fun for like a ride once in a while, but soaring in general, I'm just like now. I mean, of course, I want to take you guys on Soren so you guys can see it. But, like, me personally, um, I've ridden Soren once this month. I'm good. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Six hours into our 14-hour day of Small World. 
I can see the world and it's small. Small world, what's your price? Saturday is full day from 8 to 2800. <laughs> these, these here are the 2800 probably for me to do both small worlds all day. Or to do small world all day. During when the person in front of us rode soaring 28 times. Don't tell me that things. Don't give me, don't give me numbers. Oh. I've been working on Grayson getting his own channel, but like when it's, he has his off time, he just wants to have fun. He doesn't like working. He actually comes to the parks quite often. You might be asking yourself, why is such a specific number? And then that's how much it would be to renew my annual pass here and get one for California. That's how I've been thinking. I mean, we're already in line. I've been here. How long have we been in line, actually? It doesn't feel that long. Twenty-four minutes we've been in line, but it's moving. Yeah, if I could just get the uh, the what do they call it the uh, Disney passport, which gave you the access to this, you know, all of Disney World and Disneyland, then yeah, I would just get that. But they got rid of that. But I would love to have the uh, pass for Disneyland. That way I can start going to Disneyland. Go show you guys the tiny castle. I told my, I told Shelly it'd be like the reserves. I'd be like, I'll be gone for one week in a month, two weeks a year. See you, dog down. Oh, oh, Kevin's listening. All right. Let's see. The only ride that's down there, so we'll go over to Epcot. No, Slinky Dog's down. Um, due to maintenance. Shelly says it's a straight downpour at home right now. Disneyland is 10 times better than Disney World. What? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far with it. They offer different experiences. That's why we go to Disney World and Disneyland. You know, where else can you ride? Uh, Rise of the Resistance and Big Thunder Mountain in the same day, Disneyland. Where can you ride a Skyliner from Epcot to Magic Kingdom, right? Like, it's, there's differences in the parks, but um, if I moved to 
Yeah, th that's why. Okay, that's why Slinky Dog's down. It's weather. How many times per month is the breaking point, even point, before getting the annual pass worth it? Well, I did the math on how many times I've been here since I moved here. That's because my annual pass renewal is in August. I kind of linked it up with my birthday. So when my wife's like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, Disney World annual pass. And she's like, oh, really? For your birthday, you want an annual pass to Disney World? I'm like, yep. Works out perfectly every year. Um, so... And my annual pass is due at the end of the month, and I and my birthday is on the fifth. So you know it works out. I think I spend about by the end of this month, I spend about seven dollars a day to come here. Ellie, it's my dragon. Oh my gosh, I have not seen you in a while. How are you doing? I was just talking to my wife about you. Huh. Like I said, every park has, like Tokyo Disney is my favorite park, right? It's still Disney, but they just did it different. Uh, I don't think that there's any one Disney park that's better than the other. It's just different things we all personally like. It's personal opinion. We all personally like something different about each park. I like the Winnie the Pooh ride at, at Tokyo Disney. It is the best. I'm sorry. Trackless, so much interaction. The, the room where you go in and Tigger is bouncing around and the whole room bouncing with you and stuff. Things like that. That is, that's the stuff I'm talking about. But that being said, I want to start bringing Disneyland content as well, like live streaming and stuff, as um, that way we can show both, you know, because there's, there's those who would like to uh, see both. Right as soon as I move, I was trying to see the door opening again. I haven't seen Gigi last since the last time we said hi to her here. Did you find a language barrier? To, no, I didn't. I, the language, like obviously they don't speak. There's a lot of people in Japan who speak uh, English, but majority of the people in Japan uh, use like Hansa, like. You be like, you want two of this, and then like, and they'll like show you something hot, and be like, you want it hot, you want it cold. It's pretty simple. Uh, Japan was pretty easy. Obviously, if you wanted to be more specific about something, yeah, it's a little hard. Uh, if you want custom food orders, good luck. That's probably not going to happen. That's one thing you'll notice a lot in um, a Tokyo Disney is if you're like. Uh, or not Tokyo Disney, sorry, Tokyo, or just Japan in general. Whatever's on the menu, that's what they're serving. So if it's like curry with this, this, and this, that's what it is. They don't modify it like we do here in America. I live about 40, 35, 45 minutes away, depending on uh, how bad the traffic is.
There we go. Now we're getting some good stuff. <laughs> Tokyo Disney is probably one of the coolest parks I've ever been to. There's so many like special item like things they do. Right as we get undercover, man, that thunder just picked up. Sounds like we got some lightning strikes in the area. So we will adjust as needed. I live, I live out towards the airport. Ooh, we got a lot of thunder. Unfortunately, lightning strikes near the tower, or not the tower, the show for tonight, Phantasmic, will cancel Phantasmic. So we need to watch. My wife says the thunder and lightning is way more intense at the house right now, so, and that's what's coming this way. Yeah, Major Gray. It's uh, it's coming in. Like I said, my wife is uh, Ali's under the covers and holding on the Shelly right now. We just got a severe weather alert until Friday at 7:30 p.m. for our area. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna pull up the, uh, the actual thing. So that's where we are right now. The blue dot is us. Woo, the AC from the tower feels good. This is out towards the coast. Look at. Hey, do we want potato barrels or tomato barrels? I don't mind. Okay, there's the airport right there. Let's see which direction it's flowing. Oh, it's going away from us. Oh. Right at 9 o'clock, supposed to be clear. All right, we're good. And we're inside. That, that's not how this works, JJ. Uh, Jonathan, I mean. After library, after the library, let them know you're on the right. Thank you. My next party, wait right here. I was just thinking we could go now. Why is that? Behind you. Yeah. 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 Spending all the women in the space, my friends. Keep moving forward. Stay behind the yellow line. It's a long way forward. You guys can get it. Let's do this. I, uh, it looks like by 9 o'clock we're going to be just maybe a sprinkle in the sky, but Fantasmic should go without a problem. Looks a little messy in here.
Oh yeah, we're good. We're inside. Thirty-five minutes. Okay. Back up today. It's pouring at magic at the moment. Remember the other day when it was pouring at Hollywood and Epcot, but then we were at Magic Kingdom and it wasn't? <laughs> mm. It's not the Disney bubble, it's the Ron bubble. But then we got rained on yesterday when we walked from Epcot, or uh, Hollywood Epcot. It's Disney magic. Well, if you guys are enjoying tonight's stream, again, help us out here by subscribing to the channel. It is the free thing to do. We just rolled 15,600. I cannot thank you all enough for that. It's just uh, my favorite side to go to. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember um, all day today, it was like, it's not going to rain, it's not going to rain. I'm like, man, I brought this umbrella for no reason, and now it's like, hey, it's going to rain. Oh, Elliot's my dragon crate idea. Thank you so much. Yes, we um, we hit last Thursday uh, when we started the stream at Epcot. We got, we hit 15,000. And since last Thursday now, we're up 600. Ralph said I was about to leave to pick up my kid from school. Uh, Kara but Naran got to the TV room just as I was about to leave. Oh no!
A lot of people just fuck with them for some reason when they go off. Does it be right before you? Alright, everyone in the back row, pull up on those yellow straps for me. Middle row. Yay. Everyone in the elevator, raise both hands all the way up. Keep them all the way up for me. Nice and high. Oh my gosh. You were the passengers in a most uncommon elevator that dropped this into your One stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and had a nightmare. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's all ready for the See us again. Thank you. Oh. I like the part where I yelled, Oh, look, it's raining. <laughs> Everybody else is screaming their heads off. I'm over here like, how's the weather out there? Well, ooh, that's hot. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It's, it's not horribly raining. It's, ra oh, maybe, maybe a little heavier than I expected.
go. Is it stuck? Yep. Kind of on to just keep riding it. Let me, I'm gonna go check the wait time on it real quick. Hold on. I thought that was a lot of fun. If there's no line, which is a possibility. Ah, oh, no, never mind. Okay. We'll go ride something else. I was about to say, if there's no line though. Remember that part where I said if it doesn't dump heavy enough rain that it feels very hot? Yeah, the ground feels very hot right now. I don't know what the record is for most towers in one day. Oh my, it's like a sauna coming from the concrete right now. So I didn't bring the safety umbrella because it, again, it's very hard to carry around. Now on days where it's gonna rain like an insane amount, yeah, we're definitely carrying it. It's a bigger umbrella and it, uh, it's for safety. But today we just needed something lightweight and uh, com compact. Like a sauna. Yeah, it really feels like you just, <laughs> I can feel the humidity coming up from the ground right now. Like. Like I said, if you guys are enjoying what you see here, we got more of this coming your way. Tomorrow, though, we don't. Tomorrow, we're just riding one ride all day. That is <laughs> Tower of Terror. No, I'm joking. It's not Tower of Terror. It's Pirates of the Caribbean. But I thought about it. Like, just surprise, we did Tower. But that would be mean. I'm not mean. I was back to the airport I got on a Skyliner from Oh no! Yeah, no, I, I've definitely been there, Toby, where you just run off and you, you try to get that one light. I think Kevin actually did that too. He was like, if I can get into Hollywood or no, Animal Kingdom at like 7.30, I can buy the Puma popcorn bucket, maybe ride Kilimanjaro Safari or Everest one more time before my shuttle leaves and of her I was like oh man I mean go for it that's what you can do Fantasmic is at 9 tonight so we still got a little less than 2 hours but that's okay um, we kind of want this weather to move out before uh, Fantasmic it's also going to bring that temperature down just a bit not too much it will bring it down enough Imagination. So anything that's an indoor wait time, so like Mickey and Minnie and stuff like that right now, probably got a huge, like a uh, rise. Everybody runs a rise when it's raining. No, <laughs> well, that might have been my fault, Kevin. We kind of went and got food after, and it took way longer than I expected to get us that food, so my bad. C-I-A-O. Oh, how you doing? I was thinking of C-R-I-O. There was a, a printer we were looking at, and I was like, wait, JJ Mickey's talking about a printer right now? If I tell you guys I'm gonna give you an all-day stream, I'm gonna do it. Weather, the only thing that stops us here, well, Disney. 
They'll be like, hey, park closed. You'll be like, all right. Can I hang out in the parking lot then? <laughs> It's a good walk around though right now. I like this. Whee. I only have an umbrella to keep the gimbal dry. <laughs> parking lot stream. You remember that time we did the parking lot stream with the park hoppers? <laughs> there happened to be a scooter and uh, and some lightsabers involved. <laughs> this rain will clear out. Most people won't stick it out through the rain. Even though this is a very light rain. I can't wait to do, uh... so if you guys weren't listening earlier, uh, I was trying to get, uh... we need to get, uh, what's his name? Uh, Eric from the Park Hoppers. We gotta get him dive certified. There's some springs in the area and stuff like that that um, I would like to go diving in. Eric, who is not only got the dreamy eyes, but also has dove before. He's just not certified, so when I go to like a state park or something, they won't let him in. Or not let him in, but like they won't let him dive. So, let's see what we can do to get him Dive certified. I'm pretty sure it's just money. I'm kind of curious about the 60 minute wait. I kind of want to see. I just want to see what's going on in here. It says 60 minutes, so I have a feeling people are avoiding the wait time on this. Oh yeah, no, we can see my that was hilarious. <laughs> Park hoppers and us in the parking lot. Yep, in California the yeah, they do run for the exits when it rains in California. The only thing that's got me now, woohoo, they are not joking. Wow, look at that line. We haven't we have an hour and 15 minutes. I'd rather go ride Smuggler's Run like two times in a row than wait an hour for... Yeah, that's not worth it. All right. Robbie says, hey Ron, can you say hi to my son, Baby G? Well, welcome Baby G and Robbie. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. It's gonna stop raining in a couple minutes. Or hour, whatever. Just gotta make sure I keep the charging port dry this time. I didn't last time, and uh, the phone wouldn't charge because it said, charging port wet. And I'm like, no it's not. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah it is. And we're on the 23 right now. We don't wanna lose that. Phantasmic does not look as good on the 22. That little noise? I don't worry about the little noise. That humidity though right now, whoo! That is high. Theme Park Fanatic, welcome back.
man, look, I, I don't know how many times I have walked towards Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and never realized how tall those spires are. Till the spire. I mean, in Florida, it, it rains a lot, so you get a free car wash every day. Also, Rainbow is up in the sky right now. Put your hands up. Amanda Frank, good evening. Holy man, oh my gosh. Even Swirlers has got a 50, 30 minute wait. I might do this. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, man. We'll do 7.15 for easy math. So we should be on by 8.15. I mean, uh, 7.45. Get off. And be back in time for Fantasmic. Plus, maybe one more smugs. <laughs> yeah, we see this because I am. It is humid out now. Yeah, we'll stay under here for a little bit. Owen, how you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Oh, we'll see. We decided to get in line for Space Range. Uh, swirling saucers. We'll see how this works out. Come on. Button up here. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Coda gifted membership. Oh my gosh, Kevin. Holly, Holly just received a gifted membership from Kevin. Thank you so much, Kevin. This is this is humidity now. It's not even hot anymore. It's just wet. So thank you, Kevin. Oh man, that's insane how many new channel members we have gotten over the last. This is insane. Thank you, Kevin, so much. And Holly, congratulations on receiving a gifted membership. Somebody turned on the sun. Are you excited for the all day pirates tomorrow? Yeah, the best part about the all day pirates is the AC, like, not the AC, but like, the fact that like, in case of weather, in case of anything going on, we will have indoor the whole time. Oh, my God. 
All right, let's see. It's a feature YouTube rolled out in the past few years. Streamers have often support. Um, yeah, so you will have the pirate smell on you. Oh, yeah, for sure. That pirate smell is not going anywhere after we ride that for as long as we did. The only thing that gets hot during these all-day streams and stuff like this is the phones. The actual gimbals themselves don't actually get hot until we're charging them and I just charged it the whole time we were at Coronado so the gimbal is good for the rest of the evening. There we go. All right, we're done. All right. Are we, are we good? Uh, the phone doesn't overheat. I mean, I'm charging it and it was in the heat earlier and we were fine. The only thing that actually overheats for sure is the, um, well, this phone doesn't overheat. My S22, it will overheat. And it won't charge. Not only won't overheat, but it won't charge. Um, Josh R asking if you take the bus to Magic Kingdom, uh, does the bus drop you off at TTC? No, it does not. It drops you off all the way by the Magic Kingdom. So you don't have to worry about taking the monorail or taking the boat. You go straight to the Magic Kingdom. But if once you get through, so if you're trying to resort hop, but you want to go to, I say uh, Grand Floridian, Polynesian, or Contemporary, you're gonna resort hop to a bus location. Now the thing is, if you take the bus to Magic Kingdom, you have to go through security to go anywhere else. Now if you would say you're Coronado to Hollywood, it's the closest bus stop nearby. Then go to Hollywood. Then you don't have to worry about security. You can get back on another, or like a security search every time. Um, then you can go to the, the contemporary bus or whatever. Anytime you're trying to leave the Magic Kingdom bus location, you have to go through a security checkpoint. But if you're just trying to go from like Coronado to, let's say, French Quarter, so you can go get some Mickey beignets, then yeah, I would just go over to like, from Coronado to Epcot, Epcot to French Quarter, or Hollywood to Epcot, French Quarter. Actually, you don't even have to do that. You can still go to Magic Kingdom. I'm just thinking like, proximity, the fastest routes. It stopped raining. It's not raining anymore.
Oh, that went a lot faster than 30 minutes. Yeah, we're not on yet, but I mean like, we got past the lightning lane point at this point. Take Corona Bus to MK area and then get off. Yeah, so anytime you resort hop on the monorail at Polynesian, uh, Grand Floridian, and uh, Contemporary, you will have to security check every time. So even though you're going from Polynesian to Grand Floridian, you'll have to go through security every time you get on the monorail. have been chosen to go back to work. Well, yeah, you gotta go through security checking at Downtown Disney. I'm just saying, if you plan on resort hopping, I like I gotta call them the Big Three, which is Polynesian, Grand Floridian, Contemporary. Um, you're gonna have to go in and out, which is fine. Just like pack accordingly. That way, you don't have to do the whole bag search every time. Like for me to go in and out of the resorts constantly, I'd have to get a bag search almost every time with the amount of stuff I carry. we're on where the next one's up I just try to make it easier for you guys we are on We have been chosen. Next up. Sweating. Oh, I don't think I'm sweating. Oh my gosh. I just realized how wet everything is. 
Any rock. I like this orange with the. Oh man, it's missing the pineapple on it. Oops. Put those in there. All right. Here we go. I heard the things out the whips. Should we do it like this? Needs a number nine on it. Right, but like, set a 30 minute wait. We had to know. It was like, we're internally grateful for KJ's constant riding. Do you grip it like this? Like, you just death grip it? It swirls and we finished it it said a 30 minute wait and we just finished at 20 minutes 19 to be exact Get oh man that rainbow came out all right we did tower we did swirling KJ loves swirling you guys don't know KJ Dino is a swirling saucer mega fan and I said, man, as in KJ wrote it during the extended evening hour, or not the extended, the after hours party, was it 20, 22 times, something like that, in a single night. Everybody has their ride. I gotta tell you what, that's all right. So y'all are either gonna have to go on it after this, and we're going to Magic Kingdom. That temperature is brought down a lot. It feels, I <laughs> love Florida. Hot all day, seven o'clock. It's perfect. I'm ashamed to report I've done swirling. I know. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be okay. We rode 25 times, one, then four, then 20 consecutively. Woo! There you go, everybody. KJ's numbers. So 25 times in a single party, I believe. 
All right, so what's gonna happen right now, I'm gonna use the restroom and then we're gonna go ride Smugs. So we'll be right back. We're back. Sorry about that. That was a lot of Powerade we drank earlier. I, I had a feeling it was gonna happen. We drank like three big cups of Powerade. Let's see, my favorite days at the parks. Magic Kingdom is gonna be New Year's Eve Eve, so December 30th. Favorite day at Epcot, New Year's Eve. Um, obviously, biggest party ever. Next one's gonna be Hollywood, May 4th, and Animal Kingdom Never. Yep. That bathroom is always very interesting because it doesn't have like, there's one paper towel dispenser so everything's uh, hand dry in there. Like bl air blowers. And the water is hot. Oh my gosh. The delicious AC of the Falcon is so good. How do you know you're on Smugglers? Sheetrock that looks like it's rusted. How do you know you're on Rise? Rock. I'm sorry, KJ. Have a wonderful night. Get some sleep. Oh man, I love that. That's my favorite scene. Bet you won't jump. I didn't give up on Tron, I just haven't ridden Tron. My my problem is like first thing in the morning. I mean we should ride Tron again. Okay. 
We can't ride Tron tomorrow. We'll ride Tron very soon. I realize that we haven't ridden Tron in a while. It's probably, it's Honda owes me in like the, at least a hundred grand. James Bond movie where he had the new DB9, Aston Martin DB9, and it did bring it back in one piece and not a piece of it. Yeah. Just... Get closer, get closer. Ah, a brand new flight crew. Good 
luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you are pulled that precious cargo. All right, into the cockpit. I hope you are ready, my friends, but be sure. I will be coming along with you. Fire. <clears throat> Por favor, permanezcan sentados y cuide a los niños. Expert. I got called expert. Just because I've written it like 200 times doesn't make me an expert. Like engineers, repair this. It's your flashing buttons. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Good job, engineers. Thank you, Honda. Right, pilot. Push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left. Move your stick to fly right and left. Uh, <laughs> pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly out. And push forward to fly down. I'll show you how fast That's my repair speed. Weapons are on light. Left pilot, hit the boost up. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. So far, so good. Containers of coaxia. Uh -huh. This will greatly help the resistance. 
You have heard the First Order and made Chewie proud. Now after my modest profit, your cut minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is... Oh, hey, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> We lost more than a third condo. What was your last year, Simon? Um, R5, damage report. <laughs> Engine failure. Alright. Right. Hyperdrive leak. Ooh, that is not too good. No, no. Multiple hull ruptures. Well, it could be worse. Life support failure. That Okay, that's something. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to cut you off there. It might be faster if you listed my step and not damaged. <laughs> you know, the ones that help us to breathe. All right, my friends. You brought the Falcon back in one piece, and I guess that is something. <laughs> not a lot, but something. Welcome back to... All right, I'm making an executive decision. Everybody out. Move up, move up. Now. Well, if you guys enjoyed that, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. We've got about 36 minutes before we have to be inside the amphitheater for the uh, phantasmic showing. I always forget how how uh, how warm it is out here after riding smugglers. The smugglers has like some of the best AC in all. I mean, the only thing I think it competes with this is um, that one ride, um, Seven Door Mine Train. That whole cave area is just dark and cold. I'm curious about the wind tonight. Yeah. Like, could make it an interesting show. Anybody have to go to the rest? Green Giant, hello, welcome. What else did I miss while I was on Smuggler's Run there? You got one! <laughs> like, I know, Hondo. Get it every time. Oh, I, I wasn't shooting. I was just an engineer, uh, Elliot. Um, but, got them harpoons out there, you know what I mean? Harpoon that precious cargo.
That, I think that says a 45 or 40 minute wait and you can see how everybody's going right towards it. All right, talk about uh, a little bit on the schedule. Today we're here, obviously here now. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're gonna be at Magic Kingdom. Uh, we'll start about 8.45, make sure we're there before rope drop. We're gonna watch the fireworks on the castle. Uh, opening rope drop, Mickey talking thing, and then we're gonna ride pirates. And we're gonna ride pirates, and we're gonna ride pirates, and then we're gonna ride more pirates. And we're gonna keep riding pirates until it hits 10 o'clock at night. And they're like, hey, you gotta go home now. I'm like, no. Nah. Johnny Depp still singing the same song down there. I gotta go see him again. We're gonna do that for about a day. Then Sunday, I'm gonna take the uh, morning session off. So I won't be live in the morning on Sunday. But in the evening, we're coming to Hollywood Studios. I know, right? Again? Oh my gosh. But we're gonna watch Fantasmic. I know, it's like what we're doing today. But I love Fantasmic, it's that good. When people say like Falcon's 35 minutes late, I'm like, no it's not, I just walk, oh yeah. <laughs> I get confused on Falcon because people are like, no it's 35 minute wait. Oh, single rider. I just realized I gotta change batteries. My big battery died. Come on, two hands. I think it's dead, hold on. Oh, uh, this thing's huge. 1%, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> I know, JJ, I, I was track. my wife was like mentioning that too. She's like, you're going live every day? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, yes, but like, we'll see what we do. Yeah. New battery plugged in. I bring two of these massive batteries. I only really need one, but I charge the S22 just in case. And the gimbal, twice. There we go. Don't forget your husband. Don't forget your bags and your husband's too. I love that. We could just do a country bear jamboree all day. Just sitting there. This stream will eventually get taken down for too many of the repeat copyright claims, but we'll be singing for sure. I mean, I already know the words of all the songs anyways. I'm 
And that one's broken. <laughs> The thing I liked about the people mover is like there was a lot going on. I mean, it was in a sh small area. Don't get me wrong, Pirates is a very large area. But there's the ship. No, no, Carlos. Avasi. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hello, Glenn. Thanks for being here. Why can't I slide? Oh no, we still have thunder or I mean lightning in the overhead. They will cancel the show if it continues on. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you got a moment as well. Um, a ride I do not prefer. Well, besides Small World, but that's just, I mean, that's a general thing. Um, a ride I prefer not to ride very often. Teacups. Actually, I don't ride teacups at all. Like, for sure, without a doubt, I'm avoiding teacups. I'll walk by them. I'll let you look at them. I'm not riding teacups. And if I do ride teacups, it's probably because somebody's with us. But I avoid the teacups. Let's go get ourselves. So earlier today, I don't know if you guys remember, about 10 hours ago, Nikki said, hey, why don't you get yourself a monster? Almost 10 hours ago. I said, okay, let's head on to this store right here that has this merchandise. Also has a monster in there. Did somebody say <laughs> Small World is the most real? I mean, oh, look, the new Coke cup right here. The 100. They really went all out with the 100th or 50th anniversary, and then on the 100, they were just like, Disney 100. Here's some ears. I don't mind Figment. I don't think it's very. Um, it, for a ride, it's not very. My wife literally was like, You're not riding Figment all day. I'm like, well, eventually I'll ride all of them all day. She goes, cool. Not anytime soon. I'm trying to see if there's anything new in here. You know what I need? Hello, Kim. Great to see you. I don't have this yet. I have like 28. 29 of some medallions now, and I don't have the book. We'll go this way. I don't have the book yet, and I have a ton of them sitting in a drawer that my daughter keeps getting into, so if I feel if I put it in this, maybe she'll leave it alone. By the way, all the little Starbucks coffee cups that were available for the May the 4th Be With You Day and all that stuff is all right here. I'm getting it, Nikki.
Hello. Yes. I'll get that for you in just a second. Ooh. Um, hold on a second. I got, it. yeah, let's do a card. Okay. I'm just going to put it in my bag. It's okay. okay. Yeah. Would you like a bag today? And then proceed on the bag, okay? Thanks so much. Thank you so much. You too. All right, let's go out to my trash cans. Hello, trash hands. You put eight per page. I have. 28, 25, something like that. I need to get the rest of them. So we got a resort hopping uh, video or live stream coming up soon where we're literally gonna resort hop to go to collect the other uh, medallions. Surprise. Um, not really surprised, but you know what I mean? Like, so we got that one coming up soon. I'm gonna put the umbrella. Hello. Oh, that's why it's heavy on that side. Still thunder in the area. Hopefully the show still happens. Yeah. Now that we did that, I put this here, and we can go. And everything must fit in the bag, or I don't buy it. Thank you, Nikki, for the monster. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I've been trying to. I've been meaning to buy the medallion book every time I come to the park. And when I buy stuff, I forget to grab it. So monster plus medallion book was a total of twenty-two dollars. The medallion book alone is twenty-four ninety-nine. So thirty percent AP discount right now. Really kicking in there. I was never super into the whole 50th anniversary medallions, but the, the 100th ones. I like the 100 ones. Thank you, Nikki. Um, so, that don't look good. Hold on a second. Okay, we're fine. It's going from... Uh, well, now I gotta look at the map. I've caught straight in front of us, so this is north. It's going from uh, it's coming from the west and moving east. Ooh, I saw that one. Uh oh. Show's supposed to start in 50 minutes, and I have everybody standing outside. Let's go find out what's up. Hollywood Tower Terror, you hear that lightning? Is looking. We'll go in the back in a minute. I've stood all the way in the back before and where do you get one of those? Oh my gosh. I should get one of those for New Year's Eve. Get two of them. Oh. <laughs> 
good possibility the show might be canceled. I expect that a lot this summer. And it's full all the way through the hill. It's going to stay north of us because it's with. Well, let's go to the other line. They already started seating people. I just saw the line start moving, so we'll go get in line. Let's go get in line. Yeah, always make that announcement and make it sound like the worst thing scenario ever. This before probably will be delayed. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's got to be away from here. Are we going all the way back to Hollywood? Yep. Oh, it's a really thin line right now. Almost there. No, we're not. Oh my gosh. Almost there. Man, this feels like opening night, Fantasmic. Well, the helicopter's still flying around in the weather, and we're good. That sky looking a little crazy right now, everybody. Oh, they're feeling it. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It is. Fantastic. The nighttime show. Okay. Fill it in. Whew. Yeah, it is not. It's a long line, but it's not. It's actually not long. Uh, just people standing in single file row. Where the stars shine. I just realized something. This, I want this shot right here. Hold on, this looks cool. Let's get some zoom. Let's see what kind of lightning strikes we can get. I'm stand off the side, see if we can get something to look cool like that. They took the second show away a couple weeks ago, but they bring it back every once in a while, depending on crowd levels. Dang, I thought that was going to be a good one. Hold on. Come on, show us a good one. Thank you. 
Sorry, everybody. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of cut in and out as there's a ton of people in the area right now. Just waiting to see if we can get a cool shot of like one right behind it. Let's see if we can get that hat out of the way. There we go. I'm gonna take that photo. You're right. Sorry, man. I had to take that photo. That looked too cool. <laughs> Why is everybody yelling? Oh, that was cool. Yes. Whew. Isn't it weird? I'm actually walking. I mean, this thing's so steady. I'm walking right now, and you you can't even really tell. Oh, I said the lights on the right hand side moving. Let's see. Evening, Jomo. I'm gonna go over to the right or left. May I have your attention, please? Due to inclement weather in the area, this performance of Fantasmic may be delayed. We will update you with more information from the area. Are they sending people in yet, or? I can't. Ramon, how you doing? Great to see you. Gimbal? G I M B A L. So that's like the second one I've seen. It's impressive. You can just. Or you can turn it. <laughs> right now we're just watching the tower with the lightning in the background. There you go. There you go. Like if you really, ooh, that was good. But we can zoom in and see what's going on inside. We're kind of still far back, but. <laughs> right. They have eight minutes to figure out what they're gonna do. Have you seen the show before? Oh, okay. Disneyland. Big difference. Oh yeah. Definitely been a comparison in the sense of like, you know, what's here, what's there, but uh, I'm pretty excited. I didn't realize I had like a full-on like theater area. Oh yeah, it holds 9,900 people. Are you serious? Yeah. Um, you want the hobby Yeah, it'll, um... So it's like, it's not behind the tower, like it's a ways behind the tower, too. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Your attention, please. Due to inclement weather, this performance of Phantasmic has... It's going to get canceled. So are you from here or California? Uh, I'm from California, but I actually live in Arizona. Oh, okay. 
Well, it's like this from the months of June, October. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean. But then when it's not those months, it's dry like every. It's really weird. I just moved here in August. Really? Yeah. Is that a couple months of that, and we're like the opposite, where it's hot that entire time? <laughs> and then there was a point where it got so cold I had to wear pants because it got down to 30 here. You're like, what? Pants? Yeah. What that I moved here because I was avoiding that. Because of what? I said, I moved here because I was avoiding that. Right. You know, when you move to Florida, everybody tells you how hot it is. Nobody tells you that it gets down to 30. I don't think. That is surprising. We were on a cruise, on the Disney cruise, on a uh, dream in March, January. We had to go south of Key Largo, which is south of the Keys, to go to warmer weather, and even then it was still cold. Yeah, it gets cold here. Much colder than most people think. We have our cold moments in Arizona, too. Oh, yeah. No, I've been... To clarify, pants are as opposite to shorts. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ron on the go? Oh, you know what? I think I, a video of yours popped up oh. recently. <laughs> Did they cancel it? I didn't listen to that part. Could be both just getting out of line because they're getting impatient. Wait, so how often do you live stream? Every day. Literally every day? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That's cool. I, I honestly don't remember the last day. Does anybody know the last time I did not stream? I honestly don't know anymore. <laughs> it's been a, it's been some months, I think. There was a. They're filling all and all. This. Yeah, you. It's fine here, because if you if everybody does break out, you don't want to be on the sidewalk. I've had the show delayed like by 30 time. minutes before. Uh, I've actually been at the show where the show was delayed 30 minutes because of my, uh, technical difficulties during the show. Like Mickey not popping out at all. At the very beginning of the show, you know, he goes, Dude, imagine, and bam, there's Mickey, and there was no Mickey, and I was just like, because I, I, when Mickey pops out, I go like this, and I zoom in. I appreciate it. So boom, there's Mickey, and I was like, looking around like, oh no, he's gone. Two thirds. Two to three months ago, there was a day. Okay. Due to inclement weather in the area, this performance of Fantastic may be delayed. We will update you as more information becomes available. Okay, so when my car stopped working for about a day, got it. Wait, didn't I go live later that night when my wife came home? Yeah, but didn't I just go out after I got, like, she got home? Well, the problem is with the amount of people waiting right now, the time it takes for them to seat everybody, even on a normal night, this show's going to be an hour from now. Because they never load both sides at the same time. They only load one side at a time. They only have enough room to let, like, two to three people in at a time. Like, it's one single key. I've only seen the show like probably a hundred times. Just, just short of a hundred, actually. No, I have to do math again. We'll say fifty. How about that? A little easy life. Welcome. Let's see, who else we got in here? Yeah. 
Toes Tugger just said, just saw lightning from the bus stop at Hell. Yep. We are seeing it right now. We're watching it in the good old Hollywood studios. It has been delayed. Don't say may. It says has. Rock and roller coaster is temporarily closed. Slinky dog is down. Let's go over to Epcot. Either people are leaving or we're moving in. One of the two. So yeah, after I look, Skyliner is down. Test track is down. Half the rides of Magic Kingdom are down. Happy Friday. Where the kid go? But I just realized they put him down. <laughs> That's how I identify them. Like, what, what just happened there? <laughs> they, it looks awesome out, though. I tell you what, like, you know. I know that breeze. It's like it's already swinging some rain over here. Give us what we want. Wet bench. Like they should just let everybody sit down and then tell everybody to leave. This performance of Bantam may be delayed. It's a two minute announcement. It's a two minute announcement. Well, everybody, I know this is going to take a minute, so if you got to go do some stuff and some things. There is there a break coming? Looking it up now. Hold on, everybody, I'm looking it up.
Yeah, yeah it's what it is. <laughs> On the dot, two minutes. I was like, we're at Disney, guys. Like, uh, the lengths we went to to get here, the lengths we go to, like, get on a ride, come on. You think a thirty? You think this thirty-five minute delay is really hurting my feeling? No. Right. We're I waited thirty-five minutes for Tower earlier, <laughs> for a forty-second ride. I think it is or whatever. Uh, it's probably longer, but I'm just saying. Right. I got a half-hour show. You think that's one-to-one -one ratio? Thirty-minute wait for a thirty-minute show? I'm more of a five-to-one. I'll wait five minutes to one minute of ride. So, at no point ever is Peter Pan worth it. It's a, it's a unique ride. Right? Think about Tron, right? Tron's a very short ride, too. And, and the aspect of it also goes 60 miles an hour, right? And you're going, but in the end, you wait, even by virtual queue, you still wait a little over an hour some days. Oh, hey, how's it going? Nice to see you again. Oh, yes, I know, right? I, I think I'll see the same pirates over and over again. They don't do much, you know, they're kind of lazy. What do you think, Bill? The I got nowhere else to be but here. Good point. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm waiting to see. Yeah, me too. All right. Take care. I'll see you later. I'm riding Pirates for 13 hours tomorrow. Wait, what? It's not the first time. All day. I did, I did Smuggler's Run 55 times in one day. But you have to like straight up get off and go back in line. Now people mover. People mover. I didn't have to do that. I could just keep going. Yeah, they allow you to continue. They let you just keep going on people mover. But on um, when I did Smuggler's Run for 12 hours, I had to get off and get back on every time too. And then halfway through the night, somebody was like, "Hey, you know the record's 54," and I'm like, "No, don't tell me that." So here I am flying through the line. We're about five away from the end of the night. I'm like, oh, I got this. We got like 30 minutes or something like that. They shut the single rider down with 30 minutes left. And I'm like, um, and I'm at 50. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So we single rider that. I literally, you're not supposed to run in the park. The last 54, I come out the door, jump down the stairs, run, I come around, Lily, I have like 42 seconds or something, or 12 seconds from like, it's straight up running. I got it. <laughs> Ryan's at Hollywood right now too. Even if Fantasmic happens, it's going to be super delayed because of how long it's going to take them to seat everybody. And my brother put a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in there and the whole other world just got ended. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I wish this picture actually looked good when I did it. Ugh. Two minutes. Has been delayed. Just. I mean, I've been in the show in a straight downpour before. Dumped on him. It was just... Oh, no. oh, yeah. The whole suit just pouring on him. What show did you see that they just kept going? All of them. Uh, it happens. It, happens. it rains here kind of a lot, so... I've been lucky for the last couple of months. We haven't had any rain usually when I do the show, but, like... If it's raining, they'll still do it. The only thing that interferes is like heavy rain. 
Oh yeah, we definitely did on Chewy mode on, on Smuggler's Run. It's a whole lot of and like no words. By the time you're done, I'm like, I don't know if Chewy mode's worth it. I'll make Chick-fil-A as long as the show starts in the next hour. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more on that. Okay. <laughs> Just say it's canceled so we can go do something. They'll wait till nine. And then the park will be closed. So you can't ride anything. Well, the show's supposed to start in. The show starts when it ends. Or, the, the park closes when the show starts. Yeah. So I was like, how do they get that? Well, they're just going to hold it out and then possibly five minutes before like the end of the night they'll be like, and has been canceled. I haven't heard one of the loud growlers in a while. The Dapper Rob, how you doing? Let's see. Well, tomorrow, don't forget to join us. Uh, we got like longer than a 13 hour stream, but like it's 13 hours of pirates tomorrow. So we're gonna try to beat the record of 28 that's on file, or at least on the internet. And we're going to sing the songs and ride the ride and yeah, it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. No. Sunday we'll we'll come back here and try this again and I try to watch Phantasmic again on Sunday. This is where my feet hurt when the long periods of standing. <laughs> Check them. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Oh, it was nice meeting you. Yes, it was nice meeting you also. <laughs> definitely watch more videos. Oh, no problem. <laughs> well, bummer. See how quickly you cleared out? Yeah, that's why I'm standing here because I'm going to wait till they leave. Well, you got 14 minutes to get to a ride. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and just like that, Sunday Night Fantastic. get any better now everybody's gonna rush to a ride like I said yeah. and Kevin Cota with another gifted membership jeez Kevin oh my god thank you so much and that went to the brave, brave, fit, strong. Thank you so much, Kevin. Let's see. Let's get moving. Well, I tried, everybody. I always do. I don't have a lot of quit in me. I'm not a quit, actually. Let's just, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Dang it. Mosquito just bit me. I mean, if we're going to ride something, let's do it. We got time. Let's go see how bad it got. So don't forget to join us Sunday. If you guys like Fantasmic, join us Sunday. We're going to try it again. Is it a walk on? Oh, okay. It ain't bad though. I'll throw away the stand. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm gonna make that Chick Fil A delivery tonight <laughs> as I wanted. <laughs> I'm sad though. I really was excited for Fantastic. Imagination, you fantastic dream. How many shows have I seen Phantasm? This is the first time it's ever been canceled. Yeah, that's crazy. Ooh, now it's raining. And now we're in line. Springs for breakfast in the morning, and then we go to the other thing at five. Put our stuff down. You just write Adam up. You get a rise out of Tower Terror every time. We got time. <laughs> we got time. <laughs> the damper valve.
<laughs> we guys no <laughs> Oh yeah, now it's raining. Sorry. Woo! You can hear this, but it's getting pretty heavy. It's not the rain, it's the um, thunder, or not thunder, lightning in the area that's causing them to uh, have the cancel. There's a lot of lightning in the area and they're not going to put uh, cast members at risk, which is completely understandable. Especially when you got to think like, Mickey's going to be standing on top of the uh, mountain, right, in a harness that's strapped to a metal cage. Oh, how's the weather? It's, it's going to rain. So I picked the one ride that I, I, I've actually come quite enjoying lately. Towers of Terror. I can't get Ugh. Who wants this dog? Either way, um, again, thanks for joining us. I know it's not entertaining at this point, <laughs> but we try our best. I know we all came for Fantasmic. Can we get a Hollywood, or can we get Magic Kingdom in 30 minutes to watch Happily Ever After? <laughs> Call the park hoppers. Park hoppers! I need to run! Well, my favorite ride is Rise.
Because we've done, we've done Universal in LA like three times. We've done this one. But yeah, we're like the Harry Potter open. Because the Disney over there is, we find it better because you can just stay across the road in a cheap hotel, walk across. Yeah, you yeah, pretty much just the park's here, there's a road, and then there's a like, block of motels. And you pretty much, so we would go over at 8 in the morning, come back at like 2, have like an hour nap, two hour nap. Let's see, I you know what I mean. We're in line for the tower of terror. There we go. Sorry, I was putting the uh, umbrella back away. What's up, everybody? <laughs> We're getting uh, lightning laned at the moment, so give us a minute. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Screen what? Oh, it's my finger. Oh, it's my finger. Okay. Ah, uh, seventy. Good evening to you as well. Um, let's see. What are we gonna do now, man? We have two minutes to park closed. They're not really letting standby in at all. Weather's not gonna get any better. Power line. There we go. Parking car in the parking lot. Parking lot. Trying to put myself away. Alright, we're ready now. I had to move all my bags, so. Okay, we're gonna ride the tower here. Hope you guys are enjoying tonight's stream. I know it's been uh it's been a weird day. It's been a weird couple weeks. Week. We're good now. Unfortunately, all that weather that they were worried about is now gone. Lightning has moved off, the rain clouds are gone. But like I said, how long it would take them to load the amphitheater would be insane.
Uh, Amber, welcome, and we're at Hollywood Tower of Terror. We should be in in a couple minutes. So I haven't seen anybody in Lightning Lane come by for a while, so the only people that should be loading is us. There we go. Letting anybody from standby, like they're literally waiting for lightning lane. <sighs> this is such a bummer. <laughs> the lightning lane thing, like obviously I'm sad we don't get to do Phantasmic tonight, but there's nothing we can do about it. Like uh, Epcot Forever should be making noises right now, so I'm wondering if they cancel that show too. We should be able to hear that right now. Can't figure out what's going on, everybody. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now we're moving. Oh, we're skipping the show completely. I'm not gonna say I want that all the time, but I kind of do. This ride needs a single rider line. Yeah, Ellie's My Dragon, this is definitely a night of first. We just skipped the pre-show room completely. I'm feeling we never go right, so we're gonna go right on this final one tonight. I know we don't do this very often, but we're gonna do this this time.
first time Fantasmic has been canceled on me completely. We've had the show go and have issues before, but never not happen at all. And then, oh, they have an elevator off on the left side. Oh my gosh. My whole, I never go on the right side, worked out. They're not running that elevator right now. What's going on, Isaac Nail? They canceled uh, Fantasmic tonight. And I don't want to watch a good Pirates of the Caribbean movie tonight. <laughs> Wait, it's Isaac, is today Isaac Nail's birthday? Or is this, this the day he does a stream his birthday? Actual birth on 12th, okay. Got it, okay, so Monday. Marcella said, good evening. This was talked about, but does Ron have a costume? No, I don't I don't wear costumes. <laughs> That's definitely a Brandon thing. This is not looking good. Now the ride's down. All the elevators are not functioning right now. Woo! Is this gonna happen too, or is this, is this, where, <laughs> this is how the evening's going? Ooh. 
I guess we'll have to come back and try it again on Sunday. What do you guys think? I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Join us Sunday, everybody. We're going to come back to Hollywood Studios and try to do all this all over again. I'm thinking around 6-ish. Somewhere, I'll probably put 6.30, but we might start at 6. Um, and do this uh, possibility. Koala Bear, how you doing? Again, I'll be at Magic Kingdom all day tomorrow. Swing by Pirates, I might be there. Ha <laughs> ha you're funny firefighter. <laughs> this guy's buying everybody a churro dog. Gotcha. Thank you. Sorry guys, can't show you inside the ride. It's crazy, those people have been sitting in that elevator in the dark for about a while. And do take special care to supervise your children. Thank you. This dinner was my we're almost there. I tried to do the right side, we still wound up on the left side. My row four. I say words are hard, so it's okay, I get it. Ride back. Ride back. Alright. <laughs> nice to sit down, you know. All of our bags are on top of the seatbelt. We're going to keep wearing them or they're by our feet. One to two. Can you lift up your back for me, please? I'm going to make sure it's on top. Can I have you unbuckle your seatbelt, please, for me? My friend right there, unbuckle your seatbelt. Take your purse out from underneath the seatbelt for me. Make sure nothing's buckled with you and your seatbelt. 
And I can walk with you about for me, please. My back row, can you all pull in those yellow straps on the right side, please? Everyone's got to need to pull in one of them, please. Middle row, yellow strap on your right side. Yellow strap on your right side, please. Yellow strap on your right side, on your right side. Yellow strap on your right side, please. Pull on it for me, please. Can you pull on yours for me? The yellow strap on your right side. Yellow strap for me, please. Pull on it for me. Middle row, my front row now. Yellow strap on your right side. It's definitely the end of the night. Can put those hands up, please? Everyone hey. put their hands up, please. Thank you. Hope we'll be enjoying it today. <laughs> You are the passengers on the most uncommon elevator about to ascend into your very own episode of The Twilight Zone. On stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and had a nightmare. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. Gentlemen, please gather your belongings and watch your step as you exit to the elevator door. We trust your stay at the Hollywood Tower Hotel has been a pleasant one. And please do come back and see us again. Thank you. Well, if you guys enjoyed Tower of Terror there, don't forget to drop the likes and the subscribes. They were both free to do. It's fine. I, 
I love Tower. If they would just let me stay on there, I would just stay on there. I wouldn't even get off. I love the hang time. I love just the whole like, woo! I like the up down drops. Like most people just want like a drop tower stuff. I'm fine with those, but like if you can give me that excel, oh, oh, you know, like oh, I love it. Unfortunately, everybody, the park is now closed. It is after. Um, oh man, look at Oogie Boogie, and then um, Jack and what's her name, Sally. Oh, wonderful world of animation still happening in front of the old Chinese theater. They wound up running that show. Epcot's happening and Magic Kingdom's happening all right now. The only show that didn't happen tonight is um, uh, Fantasmic. I love Tower. Like, honestly, when the people are like, you should do Tower all day. A day? We might do two days in a row. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds cool. Tower Marathon. 24 hours of Tower. Maybe when the temperature drops down. Then, towards like... Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Hey, how you doing, Nick B? No, no problem. Again, everybody's got things going on and things going on in their life. Sometimes you can't be watching. Sometimes you can, you know? It's, again, if people, it's completely cool. Let's see, we've been on the eve of sailing on pirate infested uh, waters. What is that? Is that a squirrel? Dude, that thing took off quick. Is that a squirrel? Or a bat? Oh, that's a bat. <laughs> there was a bat. <laughs> Unfortunately, everybody, uh, can't, uh, Fantasmic was canceled. Happily, everything else still went as planned. I'm sorry. But, you know, uh, it's not the first time or the last time it's going to happen this coming uh, summer as... Um, weather here does tend to get kind of crazy. No, <laughs> you're good. Please understand. Well, we can get some of it. Dun, 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 dun. For dinner, for dinner, I'm good. Bozo.
of people still here. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, that was a wonderful world of animation. What we did catch of it. Um, let's see. We won. <laughs> I'm Scott. I'm from Ohio. I appreciate what you do, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How you guys' day going? It's okay. They canceled the entire rule of them. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm completely with you there. I, we leave on Sunday, so it's like we have, you know, it's an every single time. It's happily ever after. It is what it is. So. 
funny. It's funny. Every other show is happening right now. Yeah. Well, not really, because I don't know if you know how long it takes them to load that. Amphitheater. The show wouldn't start almost at then. Because they only load one side at a time. It's like their biggest fall. It's like, they don't, I don't know how they explain it, but like, you know, there's two sides and they're just like, all right, and it backs up and it's slow and... Yeah. It would have been the first time in 20 years I saw that. Oh, man. Well, now, now you have to come back. See, now you have to come back. I'm a teacher. I don't know what's going to be serious. There you go. All right. Well, nice to meet you. Take care. Keep it up. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> Adam, up, you're hilarious. Well, if you guys are enjoying today's um, all over the place stream, I don't even know what Monty Call is right now. Man, it's wild. There it is. All right. Make sure everything looks correct on my board. All right. There we go. Man, Magic Kingdom fireworks are rumbling in the sky. That sounds so cool. Uh, yeah, it sounds like thunder, and but it's, it's Magic Kingdom fireworks. Oh, I can't go that way. I did not know, and I'm sorry, everybody. There is an Indiana Jones thing that's open for the next couple months over by 50's Prime Time in Indiana Jones. So let's see what kind of dingle hopper. Whoa, oh, is that a lightsaber? Okay, that's a lightsaber. Got it. RGSD, how you doing? Um, it's still a fun day. Yeah, we went to Coronado and took my time more. I love the pool. The pool looks super cool. Um, let's see what else. Pool and... Man, that sounds crazy. I wonder if I can venture my way this way. In the Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom is crazy. It, it's just summertime now. And then on top of that, the temperatures are really, you know, up there now. The UV is a lot higher as well. So we just need to be a little more cautious on how we do things. Let's see, did my exposure all the way up? <gasps> this whole time. Dirty smoking. <laughs> Wishing we were there. Almost there. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. Quickly, quickly. So this is 50s prime time, supposedly. They put something over here. Wishing we were there, I guess it's great to have you. Um, refreshing libations inspired by draining open daily 8 to, or 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Den of Indiana Jones Destiny, or Den of Destiny, Indiana Jones. Looks like they just created a drink store? Yep. Okay. Wait, do you think I can zoom in on the menu from here? Man, wrong with zoom over here. It's a little blurry with the window. Looks like they got a margarita in there. Let's see. An ale. It's all drink. Okay. Bummer. Oh. Whew. Oh, no problem. So, that is uh, the temper, I believe, the, if I'm correct from uh, what I've been told. Um, that this is open until August.
of Obi-Wan. <laughs> Oh, now, now you turn on the smoke? We walk away, you turn the smoke on. I think the right nostril might have an issue. See, JJ, JJ knows everything. Oh, this. JJ, what kind of light bulbs they use in these lights? That way I can have the same glow at home. <laughs> Send nasal spray. Hey, Beaver or Sinuses. Let's head on this way. It, it's weird leaving without having Fantasmic at Hollywood. This is the first time I've ever left Hollywood Studios at closing without seeing Fantasmic since it's come back. What do you mean it's Harrison Ford's last big budget blockbuster? He's gonna wind up doing Rocky films, totally. Him and Stallone. I have a date with the Chick-fil-A man, woo! Do we end early enough tomorrow to get chick No, we don't. Ugh, no celebratory Chick-fil-A tomorrow. Bummer. It's okay. Oh, Magic Kingdom just wrapped up. And Magic Kingdom's done. So, I mean, it's definitely uh, possible that he's not done. Yes, tomorrow is Pirates all day. All day means that the park is open at 9 for regular guests, closes at 10 for regular guests. I make the reference to regular guests as because I only do the challenges that are in a regular day of operations. I never add extra hours or anything like that. Especially since, I don't know. They're just supposed to be fun. In the end, we're supposed to have a good time. We're not supposed to be like, I gotta do this. I mean, even though I'm, I am that way, I just, I'm saying like, I'm not gonna spend money to, to beat a record or anything like that. Could you do it in the same day? That's that's pretty much what I have it at. So that way it can be beaten. It's possible it can be beaten. I like that. I like I like challenges. And I like those who challenge it. Like I said, Park Hoppers, I'm coming for that rise. 17, too low for me. I need 20 on rise in one day. I need that. Oh, we're gonna end early tonight, unfortunately, everybody. It's just been a roller we're gonna end about an hour early so today's 11 days instead of 12 or 11 hours instead of 12 but otherwise we're just gonna walk around and talk about whatever and it's been a weird evening 
it's not a horrible evening. Like we're still at, we're still at Disney World. I mean, <laughs> but um, it's just been um, man, it's slow. It's just slow. I don't know. In my head, I'm like trying to think, and because I keep thinking of other things, it causes me, to, yeah, mental block. Either way, um, let's see what we got going on here. Barbecue. <laughs> We're talking about Chick Fil A. Uh, that's another reason I want to get going. I mean, Chick Fil A closes at 11. I'll get there in time, but I can already see the parking lot is all backed up right now, and I kind of want to get going. I think about three chicken sandwiches tonight. This should be good. I got a ton of points, so uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Kevin, stop gifting memberships. Oh my gosh, Kevin. <laughs> another, another one. Oh no, how do I get to it? Let's see, hold on, I gotta, hold on. Kevin Cody gifted one membership to Mickey Mouseki. Uh Well, thank you so much, Kevin. <laughs> well, everybody, we didn't get Fantasmic tonight. I am sad. I know you guys are kind of sad. I say it's kind of sad because, you know, you can always just go click my old video. Uh, where it just shows Fantasmic and you can watch Mickey not pop out and I was hanging out with Kevin there um, But I mean, it's okay. We'll come back again. We'll do it again. We just Sunday evening We're coming to Hollywood Studios. We're gonna skip the running around all the places and stuff. We're gonna come here for Some rides in Fantasmic. That's what we're here for Sunday. Of course tomorrow. We got pirates we're gonna start about 845 in the morning We're gonna go all the way until not at 10 o'clock and then we'll have our like our after there is two parts to tomorrow's video because it is over 12 hours that way it's all documented it documented it documented and then um uh, let's see monday tuesday wednesday thursday like i said there'll be morning streams and friday will be morning streams there will be no evening streams next week no magical wednesday like normal unfortunately should go to Bucky's. Oh my god. No, I don't have time to go to Bucky's tonight because I gotta be back here in like 10 hours or something like that. Hold on. 11. I got 11 hours until I have to be back or we're live 10, 11 hours from right now. So I don't have time to go to Bucky's tonight. But I would love to go to Bucky's. I think the next time I go to Bucky's though, I'm gonna bring the park hoppers. The park hoppers. So they can, um, it'll be great. It'll be great. Um, so that might happen. Hopefully soon. Uh, of course, I want to thank everybody for being here. If you guys enjoyed today's stream, don't forget to hit the like buttons, like you always do, and subscribe buttons. Those ones are the really important ones there. It helps us get bigger, more people discover us. That's all of us, because you guys talk all the time with me, and that's how we discover, you know, it, it's, it's a thing. And then, then more people join, and then I'm on. All right, and then of course, I want to thank all my Patreon members and and channel members oh my gosh kevin so many channel memberships today i can't even count them anymore thank you kevin thank you everybody for all the channel memberships thank you for the um let's see um michael with the five dollar let's see dty with the 10 for the uber <laughs> thank you guys for the super chats thank you so much nikki mouse thank you for the monster i'm just gonna go great with my chick-fil-a sandwiches um and of course i want to thank my moderators who uh, most of them have been here all day even though like I know you guys got to work, but thank you for all you guys do. You guys, I got you. Captain Crunch, welcome. Great, great to have you here. Um, you're on the list now. And of course, I want to thank um, my wife. Or do we thank her today? Because man, this, is, this has been a roller coaster of a day. Yeah, we still thank her anyway because she's awesome. She makes all my cool shirts. Don't forget, check out rononthego.com. We have all kinds of shirts and stuff on there. Um, she's got stickers. She didn't post the stickers. Also, don't forget to check out the community tab later tonight if you don't get a notification. Uh, and the winners, were, I'm going to email the winners first before I worry about getting you guys the information. So I'm going to email all the winners. And then I'm going to put up the community tab section. Hopefully I can get those both done tonight before I have to wake up in the morning. Either way, I'm gonna get out of here now. I got a lot of things to do. Chicken, chicken, monster, barbecue sauce. Go home, tell everybody who won.
yeah we got a lot of stuff to do tonight i realized i'm uh, probably gonna be up until like almost one so thanks for watching everybody i hope you guys enjoyed it again i will see you tomorrow morning in 11 hours thanks for watching see you next i've said it like 20 times now you can see i'm rambling